Yes. All right. So welcome, welcome all new agents. We're excited for you guys. Um, my name is Marnie Ooh. Hernandez. I have actually been with the company for almost seven years. Uh, first three years, I did it just for the perks because who doesn't want a free cruise or free Disney passes, right? Um, so yeah, I'm a single mother, four kids, uh, raised them on my own for 22 years in Vegas, all by myself. Um, but as I said earlier, um, uh, turned out to be decent kids. My son's a detective. My three daughters, Jack, just actually went into business for themselves together, um, doing nails, lashes, um, facials, et cetera, and photography. So kind of excited. They actually just got a, a huge studio down in the art district in um, downtown Vegas. So uh, kind of proud, you know, pat myself on the back. No, <laughs> and of course they're all travel agents. But anyway, um, the way I started to do this class, okay, um, it's just a fun little thing that we do. I actually do it now three times a week, sometimes four. We started out once a week because um, I don't know if you guys have heard, with, but with Princess Cruise Line, you do the training, guess what? You're going to get a free cruise. Yes, free cruise for two, just pay port taxes and fees. Well, my mentor, my sponsor kept saying, when are you going to do it? Let's go, let's go, let's go. And I'm like, I'll do it, I'll do it. And at the time, of course, I was working full-time, I was working part-time, delivering pizzas. I was, you know, worked in the insurance industry for 30 years, et cetera. And I kept saying, I'm going to do it. Again, this is your business. You got to get organized, right? And I'm not going to be organized. So I kept putting it off, putting it off. Finally, I'm like, the only way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put on my calendar and I'm going to sit down and do it. And then I thought, you know what? Why don't I ask my team? You know, hey, any of you guys want to join me? So that's how we started. It's like, hey, come on, let's do it together. Let's do it as a group. And uh, and we did. And then we thought, this is kind of fun. Let's do Disney now. Okay, let's do Jamaica. And so now that's what we do each month. Um, I do have a calendar out here. And, and again, thank you guys all um, who have joined me all these um you know, dates or whatever. But uh, right here, we put out this calendar and you guys can do these on your own too. So just wanted to share that with you. But the main reason we do these and hopefully it'll come up as a clearer picture. There it goes. Um, besides we're learning about the different destinations, the programs that we use, et cetera. Again, you get amazing perks. You get invited on familiarization trips, which are like free trips to come out and explore the resorts and stuff for either free or highly discounted. I got invited out to Jamaica, three nights in a sandals resort with a butler for free, okay? So um, again, you learn, you get the knowledge. Sometimes you get certificates, you can post. Hey guys, I'm now a specialist. We just did, um, what did we do yesterday, guys? Um, <laughs> Vienna, Vienna, Austria. That's what we did. Um, that was a long one. Okay. Um, some of them are 20 minutes. Some of them are nine hours. So what, like the princess cruise, I'm actually taking mine. I'm going um, with my boyfriend, December 7th, 15 days on a cruise to Hawaii. Guess how much I paid because you have to pay poor taxes and fees. $220 guys. Okay. Good so, morning. Uh-huh. I don't mean to interrupt you, but me and my husband are going to be on that same exact cruise. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, hit yeah. us up. So there's a couple other and agents. Is, uh, stationed in, it's perfect. Yeah. He was stationed in Pearl Harbor. So he's going to take me on his own excursion when we get to the island. Cool. Okay. Let me know. And then, you know, I haven't even looked at the excursions yet or anything. And, you know, right now it's like, I just want to go and sit on the ship and eat and have fun. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, and it's going to be kind of funny because I'm going from the snow in Leavenworth over to the ocean and the, the islands of Hawaii, you know, within a week of each other. So kind of be exciting. So again, the fun part about being a travel agent, guys. Okay. All right. So um, just so you know, again, um, these are the trainings that we're doing. Um, and uh uh, Sandy is amazing. Okay. If you're not in our incentive voucher group, please join us. Um, but I just kind of want to share with you guys where these trainings are. Um, she, I actually record them all and put them here on my YouTube channel. Okay. 
So if you miss out or if you have to leave, okay, a lot of people, you know, sometimes they run over an hour or two or whatever, and they're like, I got to go to another training. Okay, go ahead and leave, but make sure you finish it. Because again, you can get amazing perks, deals, fam trips, um, lunch and learns. We got invited out to a Magiano's lunch and learn in... um in uh, uh, Vegas um, for a, a Mexico resort. And um, so fun, fun things, okay? So that's my YouTube channel. On here also, I do have, you know, our, um, besides all the trainings that we do, I have our, our agent, travel agent opportunity. If you wanna share the business, I have our training on our certificate workshops. If you wanna learn about team building right there, um, again, totally optional, but our incentive voucher work workshop, guys, learn to use these vouchers. Great way um, to promote, okay, your business. So again, join this group. But I wanted to show you because I use this group a lot because no matter whose team you're on, okay, we're all one team. We're all, oh, we move. Hey, I feel heat, dear. Is that oh, coming really? from over there? It, you know, <laughs> it feels like it's up here. <laughs> Bring it down. <laughs> it's like I'm freezing here. Um, wow. Anyway, just wanted to um, uh, share with you guys. Um, this is open to the entire evolution. Okay. So I post a lot on here, but as you see here, Sandy goes in here. These are, this is lo located under featured and discussion, um, but she puts the entire month in here of what trainings we're going to be doing and the link. Okay. So again, guys, if you're just joining us, we're going to register together if you haven't already registered. But hopefully now that you see this, can you guys see my screen? Okay. Hopefully. Um, <clears throat> Make sure you go in ahead of time. I try to let you guys know, go in ahead of time and pre-register. That way, when we get in, we're in and going, okay? All right. So if you haven't registered yet, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this link. Da -da -da. Today's the fifth. We're going to click here. All right. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like, woo -woo -woo -woo. We ended up shutting all the doors. Had a, we luckily brought a little portable heater and, and a few blankets. So, all right. So um, I pre-registered. Thank you again, Linda and Christine. Um, and now my internet just said unstable. So um, Linda, I know you love me. Um, I'm just putting you as co-host just in case it kicks me out so you guys don't lose us. And then if anything, I'll pop back on. But that way you don't lose me. Okay, or lose the training. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to log in or, or register, okay? Now, when you register, guys, um, yeah, the link, yep, copy. All right, so go in and register, paste. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my account. So you're going to go in, I think, on the first page and then down here, and it goes register, okay, or pre-register or, or update or something, okay? So let me see if it pulls up for me. If not, I'll just register Rick. I'll just log out and register Rick real quick, just so you guys can see. What link are we copying to register? I just put it here in the chat. Go ahead and click right there on the chat. Again, it's right here in the um, in the pages of uh, Facebook, our group. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and log out of here. And then I'm going to sign up my boyfriend. Okay. All right. So let's go in. All right. So we're going to go down here. Not yet a member. Create an account. Okay. You're going to click create an account. You're going to get a registration form. All right. How many have registered already? Anybody? Again, do it with us now, that way, okay, perfect. Okay, if you have it, follow along right now. Let's do it. My computer's yeah, running a little slow. Problems yesterday because it asked a lot of questions that are for which I didn't have answers for. Right, right, so we're gonna go through that now. All right, agency, always, always, always gonna be Archer Travel. Okay, I have Archer Travel's information right here already logged in. Now, remember, whenever you're working with the cruise line guys, you want to use the cruise line number for Archer Travel, okay? That's something you got to remember. Archer Travel has a specific. Um, Dolores, I'm sorry. Again, just click on the link and click register, 
Okay, so here's the link. And click register and we're on the first page. So, um, as I said, Archer Travel um, has a specific phone number when you're registering or talking about cruise lines, okay? Always, always, always use that number. So like when you're registering with Carnival, um, if you put the 1511 number, you're probably going to get denied, okay? Um, because you have to use the cruise line number for Archer, okay? Okay. All right. So now we're going to fix this. 9141. Oops. Two four eight nine one four one. All right, the address. I uh, got Foothill Boulevard, La Crencia, California. Zip code. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It's Dolores. I'm in, but I don't see anywhere where it says register. I don't. I can't. Okay, find right here. Right here. You go in here, and right down here, it says "Not a member. Create account." So if you click that link, thank you. You're welcome. I got it. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm like I said, I'm creating um, my boyfriend's account now because I'm already, um, I'm already registered. So let's go back now. Da, 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 da. No. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. All right. So again, anytime you're dealing with travel, guys, Archer Travel is the agency. Okay. Remember that. Um, because you want to make sure you're registered with um, Archer Travel. That's 70 years in the business, guys, okay? Um, you want to make sure you're affiliated with them. All right, the address, okay? Phone number, et cetera. Again, um, make sure you use the cruise line phone number right here, okay? Da, da, da. Paste. <laughs> no, again, right? Look at what I'm putting. It's the agency, agency, agency. Anytime it says agency, that is Archer Travel. Okay. Follow, follow what my screen shows. Everybody, everybody good? Everybody can see it. And it's Foothill, not Foothills. It's correct. Uh, Foothill, correct. That's okay. what I have. Foothill. Once you get down here and you put in their IATA number, again, that's like our driver's license for booking travel, okay? Uh, 058-24840. Memorize that number, okay? So the cruise line number, the IATA number. Um, I don't know if you can see my phone, but I have Archer Travel as a contact. I have the IATA number. I have the address, the phone number, the emails, okay? Because you're going to need it. Can you go back to the top? Yes. All right, so again, Archer Travel, the cruise line phone number, okay? The address, 2941 Foothill Boulevard. La Crencia, La Crenza, La Crenza, La Crenza. <laughs> All right. It's, la, la, it's la, la Crescentia. Crescentia. So where is yep. the Ia? <laughs> <laughs> that's the tia T -E, okay Crescentia. got it okay thank you all right so um everybody got that again the agency physical address is the same so you're not going to put anything different there okay everybody following along da, da, da. all right i got a number again memorize this number driver's license for booking travel okay the Affiliation Consortia Travel Leaders, it's Travel Leaders Network, okay? Travel Leaders, RIATA number. These you can leave blank. I didn't put anything, you know, that's why I think we jumped out the last time because we were like, hey, what are we going to put? Name and signature of agency owner manager. That is Ron Archer, okay? Ron Archer. Ron Archer. Can you go up a tag, Ronnie, yep. please? Yep. I just need the IATA number or IATA number. Yeah, 058-24840. Do you mind going back up to the address, please? Nope, so right there. 2941, you. you're welcome. California, 
And again, guys, you know, appreciate everybody on here. Again, we all try to help each other. So ask questions. Don't be afraid. You know, that's, you know, we're here. We want everybody to succeed and, and help each other. Okay. So, so don't, you know, a lot of people are like, I'm getting out. I can't keep up. Okay. Yes, you can keep up. Okay. Uh, we'll get you there. I'll finish okay. putting in that address. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. IATA number, Travel Leaders Network. You're going to put Ron Archer. Okay. AR Ron Archer at archertravel.com. Oops. Sorry. Name. That's it goes down here. Sorry. Cut down here. Case Ron Archer. All right. There you go. Signature. I just typed my name. Okay. So Ron Archer, R Archer, Archer Travel. Except I spelled it wrong. <laughs> there we go. Okay, everybody good? You hit submit. Save. Okay, I'll save that address. All right, now you're going to put your information. Okay, guys, this is your information. Okay, so I'm not going to put mine because it's Rick, so I'll put Rick up here. Da, 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 da. So you're gonna put your information. What was the email? R R Archer R A R C H E R at archertravel.com. Okay. Just put Rick 18, Arch and Dolly. Um so I'm getting uh, the Mark. field for agency consortia is required. Travel leaders. Um, what do we do for the signature? You just type your name in. That's all I did. Our our personal name or yeah, yeah. Put okay. your personal name. That's what I did. So all right. Everybody good? Did everybody get to here? I need put to go back to the email, please, for the archer. Okay, it's it's R R. Archer, like Ron Archer at archertravel.com. It's in the chat. And it's travel, not travels with an X, correct? Right. Correct. Okay, now you register with your name, your username and password. And then you just click create account. It's gonna say, congratulations. It's gonna say you can edit your, put your bio, all that. You don't have to do that now, okay? Just get registered. And then you're gonna go right up here to education and training. And I'm sorry, on. one last question before I hit the register button. Um, at the very bottom of the last question, you say we put our name down there for signature? Your name. Your name. Okay. Okay, Rochelle, again, uh, put this down because this is what you're going to do. You're going to need to memorize that, okay? Put it on your computer, in your phone. Because anytime you register with an event, anytime you register with a vendor, anytime you call up a vendor, they're going to say, well, what's your IATA number? Because again, you want to be affiliated with Archer Travel, 70 years in the business. Okay, guys? So memorize that number. All right. So everybody in, registered. Everybody good. Once you get to here. Don't do anything with the bio. Don't update your account. Just go right here to education and training and click training and certification. Okay. And then you're going to come to here. Click to launch my cruise academy.com. All right. So I'm going to kind of read some things while you guys are still registering. Also, just so you know, again, if you're new, I read, we watch videos, uh, we take the test together. We don't leave anybody behind. Um, so just listen, okay? Um, 
if you're following along, a lot of people follow along on their phone and do the test on the computer. Some people do split screens, okay? All right, so direct all correspondence and questions regarding training and education directly to training at AQ Voyages. Live webinars, when available, links to register for live webinars will be located here. Okay, the agency consortium, the consortium. Can we go back to how we get to the screen? What do you need? Can we go back to how we get to this screen? This screen is right From here, right here. Education and training. Nancy, the consortium is travel leaders. Our IATA number is right here. Okay, agency is Archer Travel. Okay, also guys, I'm gonna be reading and stuff. So make sure you put the message to everyone because we have 40 people on here. We all help each other because I'll be reading so they can help you in case you miss something, okay? All right, so everybody good? So again, besides learning, again, now you're going to be getting promotions. You're going to be getting invites to webinars and stuff, okay? Access to our on-demand travel agent certification program is below. Um, My Cruise Academy requires agents to register, create a username and password, which we did. Um, certified agent benefits. So you're going to get a designation. Again, now you can post that on um, Facebook, social media. Guys, I can, I'm now a specialist with American Queen, Queen Voyages, okay? So again, that's why we do this. Social media. Get out there and let people know you're a travel agent. Uh, you get a certification. You get a logo that you can put on your email signature or website. Access to travel agent reduced rates. Who doesn't want that, right? And then exclusive invitations to officially hosted educational fam trips. As I told you guys, take advantage of these perks. All right, so some frequently asked questions. Again, everybody doing good? Uh, which website do I visit to access the certification program? Okay, I showed you where we go and that's where we're going now. Um, can be found on mycruiseacademy.com. Recommended that you bookmark this page for easy access. If I'm interested for the American Queen Voyages Travel Agent Portable, am I all portal? Am I also automatically registered to the Academy? No, you need to register upon your initial visit to the Academy, create a username and password. Um, the Academy and our Travel Agent Portal are two different websites and are not linked. Okay. Can I utilize the same password as I did for the portal? Sure, when you register, you can set it up the same. Previously completed the old Steambook Academy. Okay, probably none of us did, but um, if you did, it says, no, you have to obtain a new one. Um, just like on any of our trainings, guys, just so you know, Disney's always doing updates. So I'm gonna probably start Disney brand new, maybe in December again for all new agents, because it's a long one, um, but they're always doing updates and to keep going, um, it's travel leaders. That's correct. Yep. All right. Okay. When I log in, it doesn't, okay. What if I started the steamboat? Okay. So, so let's go ahead and get started now. Click to launch the Academy. Da, 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 da. I think I'm here. There it is. Okay. But it's going to pop up again. Okay. So everybody good? Again, just click for the Academy. Da, 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 da. Let me go ahead and click out of here because I'm already here. All right, I'm an agent in the United States. Okay, so you're going to click there. Okay, hopefully, you guys are all here in the United States. And cross your fingers that it opens. Also, keep in mind or, or start thinking of trainings you guys want to see for next month. Okay. Um, I'll also show you a list of all the trainings we've already done. Okay. So that way you know. Ah, all right. New registration again. Wah! All right. So existing users, click here. Let's see if that'll work. Remember me, log in. Username check. All right. So we have to register again. Is that right, Linda Lou? Yeah, on, on that frequently asked questions that you just read, it's, it's no. We have to... No, there's a spot right up above that says if you've already registered, click here. All right, let's go. 
So click here. And then you should be able to log in. All right, let's try it. Right here, log in. Uh, right in the middle underneath tra official travel existing users click there you go here. And then it should be your either your username, because you should have created a username. Which I did. Let me try Rick's because you just saw me do Rick. So again, I think we registered just for the thing. Now we have to register for the cruise sign. Okay, yeah, go ahead and re-register for the cruise <laughs> side then. Sorry, guys. Fun, huh, guys? Okay, so we, we've now been on a half hour, and all we're doing is registering. All right, so <laughs> register again. Uh, put in your same information that you had, okay? Is that my doggies or your doggies? Linda's watching my my babies while I've been gone for three months. That's Coda saying good morning. Oh, hey, baby. My 15-year-old <laughs> dog. I can't wait to get back to him. All right, guys. So there, we got logged back in. So that one was really easy. You already registered. Just put your username, your email, and your password. <sighs> All right. So now where do I go? <laughs> so you didn't have to re-register? You, well, you have to click register, but all it, it's asking you for is your um, is the same thing you put your username that you just created, oh, <laughs> your username, um, password, and your email. Okay, and then we get here to your profile. And we have courses, certificates, order settings, quiz results, wish list. It's asking me about um, the street address the um okay don't don't pre-register no look here right here you're gonna go here you're gonna click here what did you right, click watch. it you right click, here uh, right here right here i'm a united uh -huh. states agent yeah it, it's gonna take you I... right it's gonna take you here let me pull it up i'm already in there but um i gotta probably log out again uh, yeah it took me out. to no, I'm showing you. Hold on. I'm going to show you. It's right here in the middle. Um, come on. Log out. Okay. Instead of filling out that whole page, if you look right in the center, it'll say right here, existing users click here. Okay. Right there. Okay, guys? Teeny, teeny blue word. Yeah, right here. Click here. And then again, all you all it should have, I've now I've already done it, is your username, password, and email. Okay, Jacob, same thing. Do you see where we're at? You probably are filling this all out again. You don't need to. You just click I don't here. See that. I, it just, it's asking me for a username and a password. It's not right. asking me just for well, yeah, that's probably because you're already in and registered, probably. So just go here, put in your username and password. Hopefully you've already done the registration and it should take you here. And then you're here. Everybody good? Did someone write down? <laughs> yeah, we put I'm not. I keep getting an error. Okay. Remember IATA number. Who knows their IATA number? It's the same for everybody. Remember it, write it zero, down, five, memorize eight, it. Two, four, eight, <laughs> four, zero. So you're right, you're gonna okay. What uh what error are you getting? So so just so you this guys know take me back to the little register um page. Okay, so again, are you getting this page here? Hold on. No, you I, it's not letting me in either. It's saying unknown username, check again and try your email. Oh, I guess I'll try my email. Okay. But again, you may not have re-registered for this page. Okay. Um, so I had to register. So guys, if you just click register, it should solve the problem. And it's an easier registering process than the other page. Correct. You have to re-register for the training program too, but it's really quick. Your username, password, email. That's it. Okay. Very easy. 
You don't have, don't go in and, and fill all that, all that stuff out again. Okay, everybody good? Again, I'll go through it one more time. <laughs> so again, guys, right here, you have all the training for next, the rest of the month. Go in and pre-register if you can, so we can get started on trainings. But um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to sign out of all these so I can get to the clean page. Okay, I'm an agent. It's going to pop up here going to say existing users because we already went through the training or the registration. So you're already an existing user. Click here. You're not going to refill all this out again. Okay. So you're just going to click here. Does everybody see that? Again, before we move on, I want to make sure everybody's here. You see that? Not working for me. What's it giving you? Where am I going again? I'm sorry. Okay, so you originally went in and registered. And then sure. once you register, you get here and you click to launch your cruise or you go up to the training. And it's going to say you've now entered the training site. Have you gotten here yet? Yes, yeah, I'm past that. I'm where. Okay. Um, so you go here. Again. And then you go right here. Existing users, click here. Okay. And you click there. And again, if it says um, username and known, maybe use your email or something. It's whatever you registered with before. But again, um, Jaime, I think it is, make sure you have registered on the prior one. Okay. You have to register twice. Uh, I think on this page, you have to re register separately. The, you, you have to complete it. They haven't done that before. I think you have to complete right. that. Otherwise... Yeah, you guys have to make sure that you register the second time, OK? Yeah, so uh, I think that's the problem everybody's having because they're all new. They haven't registered. So they need to come here and fill out all of that information right there. Yeah. The, this, no, when you click here on that blue button, I'm an agent. Right. So you when you click, click on the agent, yeah, you have to register again on that page. Everybody has to right register here. because they're not, not you, there. You don't you have, have to, to register go. there because you already did it over here. No, it doesn't seem to uh, carry forward Work for them. They, okay. The FAQ, FAQ already said they are two separate sites. So I don't think the registration carries here. So we have to redo this thing. Which is okay. a quick one anyway. It's okay. not too big. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and try doing that. I just came in. What side are we supposed to be at? Okay. I can't go through all the training again for you um, because we we've, we've got to get started on this training, guys. Um, so for anybody that's just signing in, if somebody can walk them through how to get registered, that would be great. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started um, again, guys. Just listen. Uh, register on the second page. If you've already registered, click here to log in. Okay. Huh? I'm sorry. I was saying I was already logged in. Okay. And um, again, guys, I'm recording this. So just wanted to let you know, um, you guys can catch up. Um, but again, we've had people that have been registered that that really, you know, need to get, start, get started on the training. So um, that's why, please, please, please try to pre-register ahead. All the trainings are right here so we can, you know, get in and get started right away. Okay, so travel agent certification program. Again, if you have a question, put in the chat box to everyone and, and people will help answer those questions for you. All right, so become a certified agent. It's undergoing a rebranding, okay, the American Queen Steamboat Company and Victory Cruise Lines to American Queen Voyages, okay? So if you've heard of those two different companies, um, they've merged now, okay? Aside from possibly hearing reference to our former company name, the content in the Academy is still valid. 
Whether you are a new agent looking to establish a foundation of knowledge about our brands and cruises, or a seasoned travel professional looking to refresh and continue your education, remember, we always want to keep learning, okay? Our certificate program is aimed at increasing your expertise and your confidence to close the sale and grow your business. The Academy consists of on-demand modules that are recommended to be viewed in order, followed by respective quizzes. That's why it's kind of fun to do together so we can help each other pass. And we will make sure everybody passes, okay? At the completion of the program, you will be able to download your certificate. Yay, okay? Post that today, guys. For questions, correspondence, there's the contact uh, benefits. As we talked about, you get FAM trips. Um, travel agent reduced rates. You'll have access to reduced cruises. Please visit the portal for more information. You get FAM trips offered by invitation only to certified graduates. That's what I'm telling you guys. If you don't finish with us today, finish it. You want to get invited on those free trips, okay? Um, these cruises take place throughout the year and include many exclusive experiences and inclusions. And you also get an agent logo, certified agent logo to put on your website, your auto signature, et cetera. Okay. All right. So let's take the course. Da, 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 da. Finally, right? <laughs> I know it's a, it's, some of these are tough to get registered for. Some of these are tough to get through. Um, that's why it's, again, also good to, you know, work together and, and help each other and try to get through this. All right. So it says we have seven cruises, seven quizzes, eight lectures. It says it takes about two and a half hours. So again, guys, um, hopefully you'll stay on board with me. Um, but let's let's get our certificate and get invited on a fam trip. Everybody, let's take that trip, right? All right. So here's the modules. So welcome message and instructions. Again, if you're still registering, ask the questions. Let's get her done. Get her done. All right. Welcome. We're excited you're here to learn about the American Queen Voyages. After viewing our welcome video, you may proceed with the learning. Yes. Um, all my trainings are recorded right here on my face on my um YouTube channel. Okay, I'll put it right here. Uh, just like guys, Oasis uh, La Collection, you get two free nights in Cancun, and Oasis, you get three free nights. So again, take advantage of our perks. All right, let's watch this video. One of the things Welcome gotta... travel advisors to the okay, American nice. Queen Voyages Travel Agent Certification Program. My name is Barbara Davis and I am the Director of Product Training for American Queen Voyages and it's my pleasure to be your host through this entire learning program, which will be a very one-sided conversation, but I will do my best to make it engaging and a fun learning experience for you. Having been a former travel agent myself, I know that sometimes these learning platforms can be a bit dreary, but let's go ahead and plow through it as if we're moving forward and gonna have a good time. So let me cover some basics on how the Academy actually functions. That way you know how to best handle any situations that may arise. And don't worry, at the end of this particular module, I'll give you my contact information. So now that you've logged in to mycruiseacademy.com and you've seen the curriculum, you're gonna get into each of these individual module screens where the video will pop up. Make sure you click the play button to view them. And then typically there will be a complete button. And if that doesn't show up, then there will be a next button. So make sure you click either complete or next to move on to the next Academy module. Now, it's recommended that you take these courses in order, but you can stop them any anytime you need to and come back to it later and complete it. So don't feel like you have to sit down with me for a couple of hours and uh, get it all done at one time. You can actually break it up over time if you need to. You've got a year to finish the course. So you've clicked play on a module. You've listened to me talk like you're doing to right now. And then you're going to get to the quiz section. So when the quiz questions pop up, you're going to need to click start the quiz. And then once you are at the end, at the last question, there will be a green button that pops up that says complete. Make sure you don't hit that until you are on your last question. Because if you do that during the first one or two questions, it'll actually end the quiz for you early. So keep and you'll keep fail. clicking <laughs> next until you get 
to that very last question and then hit complete. Now, once you go through the quiz, if you got anything wrong, it will give you a pop-up and tell you that you've got uh, however many questions were correct or incorrect. And then you can actually click uh, into a review screen to go back and look at any of those questions. And You'll notice if you got them wrong, when you display the review, it'll show you a check mark next to the correct answer. So am I telling you how to get through this course easy? Yes, I am, but I want you to work for it also because we know when you have the confidence to sell our product, it's because that knowledge was there first. So let's make sure we give you that core foundation. As we continue moving through the program, when you get through the last module, you will have a pop-up that appears that says finish course. Click that finish course button and then your certificate will appear. Now, on the curriculum page, highlighted here on your screen with an arrow, there is a little green button that says certificate. I will tell you that this is sometimes where things get a little glitchy and that complete button or finish course might not show up but you might have think you've done it. And you'll notice each of those modules have a green check mark next to it as well. So if for some reason the check mark doesn't show or it doesn't give you that complete course, but that green box that says certificate is showing, that means you've successfully completed the program. So sometimes, like I said, there's a glitch or two here or there, but as long as that green box that says certificate shows up, you are good to go. Okay, once that happens and you click certificate, certificate you can display guys. your certificate and actually click the download button, uh, which will launch one of those JavaScript programs and media. allow you to open and retrieve the certificate and then you can download it. And then once you have that, typically once a month I run a report of all the recent certified agents and then that's when I will do a email blast out to all the recent certified agents and give you your certified agent logo that you can use in your email email signature. Now you're probably looking at the current logo that's on this screen and you see American Queen Steamboat Company and Victory well, Cruise Lines, which you, you know we you are now American Queen Voyages. Fields. So I will tell you that, that the Academy is the last twice. component to really go through the rebrand. So during the presentations, you'll see American Queen Voyages, but in case things pop up still like this that say our old previous names, don't worry, it's all Thanks, still Nicole. valid details. Okay, lastly, I want to make sure you have my contact information because Again, don't if you do you guys, experience any glitches listen, or difficulties, and I want you to take quiz, a screenshot we'll sure of that and send it to me directly at training at aqvoyages.com. Even if you have comments or questions or suggestions, whatever it is, that is how you can reach me. Again, my name is Barbara Davis and I'm the Director of Product Training and my email address is training at aqvoyages.com. I look forward to welcoming you on board because you know one of the benefits of becoming a certified agent is that you can have the travel agent rate program or invitation to fam trip sent to you so again if you have questions about that you're always welcome to contact your regional account manager or you can contact me directly as well so with that i'm going to let you focus on the rest of today's training program good luck going through it and if you have any questions feel free to stop by and see me anytime by sending me an email at training at aqvoyages.com good luck folks and have fun with the program bye-bye all right so again yeah refresh close everything out you know again guys don't worry we will make sure you know right now i'm just going to read we're watching videos when we get to the test we'll make sure everybody is done with their test or or ready to take the test okay also when you're in these programs you have to play the videos and stuff a lot of times before you can move on okay so do you want to complete module 1 okay I need to go ahead and hit next. Yeah, it won't let me hit next. So you have to hit complete. Again, sometimes when you're doing the test, she said, don't hit complete. So we'll say yes. And is that no? Okay. So what's my first? I guess here. Okay. So we can't hit complete. It can't hit next. You have to click here to module one and see if it takes us there. Ah. So it's loading. All right, everybody doing good? I see we're losing people. They're probably getting frustrated. But again, once you're in, you're in, guys. Okay. Yeah, it takes a little while to get registered, but let's, you know, keep going. All right. Oh, there. Is that it? That says completed, right? 
Okay, now we go to module two. Just make sure it's spinning. All right, so module two now, direct all questions here. So another video, okay? Kind of good that I don't have to read it. She does. Module two, us. introduction <laughs> to American Queen Voyages. You know, American Queen Voyages is the overnight cruise division within Hornblower this Holdings. This one we're going to have a and test. And our goal like. is to create premium guest experiences throughout the world. Today, our footprint actually spans more than 100 countries and more than 125 U.S. cities. We're also one of the largest maritime organizations in the United States, and we literally operate hundreds of vessels within local and statewide municipalities, government services, and military contracts. So why is that important to know? Because we want to make sure that you realize we're bonded at the same level as those big blue water cruise ships, so you can have that complete confidence in selling us. Now, back in the day, about 12 years ago, we started out by building American Queen Steamboat Company as the foundation of ushering in this renaissance of U.S. river cruising. So our legacy has always been our beautiful paddle wheel boats with that giant red paddle wheel. But we have continued to expand beyond our U.S. river cruise products. We now offer everything on our lakes and ocean, as well as expedition cruises. So that expands expansion has really given us the ability to travel further within to North America. Now, everything that you're about to see on your screen is something that you can offer today to your clients. So our entire fleet is available for you to sell to your clients, and that includes the four authentic paddle wheel boats. And on the bottom left-hand corner, those two photos represent our lakes and ocean products. So you've got rivers, lakes and ocean, and now on the bottom right hand side, you have Ocean Victory, which is our newest vessel that will be launching this year with Alaska Expedition Cruises. So very different than our normal rest and relaxation type of cruise experience. So again, something for everyone in your client database. Now, where do we sail to in North America? Now, everything that you see on your screen here is represented by a red dot, is one of our ports of call. But we actually even have more than what's showing on this map. It just might be slightly out of date, but just use it as a point of reference because we are growing that fast that it's hard to keep up. We truly have something throughout all of North America, including Canada, uh, as well as Alaska, not only our Great Lakes and Canadian Maritimes, but Mexico's you Yucatan Peninsula and even some repositioning cruises along the Pacific Coast. So you can see we are clearly much more than just U.S. river cruises. So let's start off by talking a little bit about our guest demographic on board so that you know which clients to really target as someone you can sell our product to. So first and foremost, let me make this super clear that everything across the board, whether it's rivers, lakes and ocean, or expedition cruises that we offer are all geared towards our baby boomer generation of traveler. We typically see an average age of 65 plus and they're well-traveled, well-educated, they've probably done a European river cruise, maybe they've done another small ship luxury cruise experience and now wanna stay a bit closer to home. In addition to that, they're typically affluent travelers as well, but they always yeah, enjoy our country club money, casual so dress know. code because no matter <laughs> nice which experience cruises. they're on, whether it's rivers, lakes and ocean or expedition, every vessel has a country club casual dress code. Now, one thing that I will preface is that when it comes to expeditions, our Alaska expedition cruises have a very different demographic in the sense of their activity level. So our lakes and ocean and our rivers are more rest and relaxation, but our expedition travelers are definitely more mobile. So they can get in and out of Zodiac boats and kayaks, and they're really looking for their next great adventure. So someone who really can get in and out of vessels as well as getting up and down stairs. So a little bit different than our rivers and lakes and ocean products. So that's important to make sure you're aware of that before you sell someone an expedition cruise. In addition to that, 
We welcome children of any age on board. We actually do not have a minimum age to sail with us. However, we don't have kids clubs or children's activities to keep those little ones entertained. So they will be reliant upon the parents and the grandparents to do that for them. So whether it's multi-gen or skip gen, we can accommodate families of all sizes on board every one of our vessels. Now, the one thing I will say is that we do have triple occupancy, quad occupancy, we even have some connecting staterooms as well. So everyone can be brought together for one family vacation should that be what they wish to do. The only thing that we would ask is when it comes to expeditions, we have a minimum recommended age of eight years old to do the expedition activities. Okay, let's talk now about the basics of what's included with every single American Queen Voyages cruise. And that's, again, regardless of rivers, lakes and ocean, or expedition cruises. So every cruise is an all-inclusive cruise experience. And this actually starts off before guests even sail away from the embarkation port. In fact, they'll arrive into the destination and they'll go to our pre-cruise hotel because every single voyage comes with one pre cruise hotel night. After they check in, they can enjoy the town at their leisure. And then the next morning, we include breakfast. And we also include all the porterage of their luggage. And we'll pick it up directly from their hotel room and place it into their stateroom. And then we include the transfer from the hotel to the vessel on embarkation day. Now, once we are on board, the first thing guests usually think about is what am I going to dine on while I'm here for this week or two? So let's talk about cuisine because the one thing American Queen Voyages does so amazingly well is we make sure that we have this culturally immersive cruise experience and all of those details go even down to the finite items on the menu. So if we're sailing in the lower Mississippi River, that menu might have more Cajun and Creole influences. If we're in the Pacific Northwest, it might have Dungeness crab and salmon on it. But again, we're making sure that that destination comes alive to our guest with every detail across the board. Now, speaking of food for a few moments, let me narrow some things down for you here. If you have guests with special dietary needs, such as vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, that can all be accommodated on board. The only dietary type we cannot accommodate is kosher, but otherwise, we've got vegan, vegetarian, and gluten-free covered. And if your client has a special allergy, please make sure you let our reservation agents know so we can notate that in their booking. Now, in addition to that, we also have partnered with Halperin's, who's the purveyors of fine beef and seafood, and we offer nightly USDA prime beef and fresh lobster, and there's no surcharge for that as well. Now, in addition to that, as well as the special dietary needs, all of the beverages are included. And that's not just your soft drinks, like your specialty coffee and tea, uh, as well as the carbonated beverages, whether it's Coke or Sprite, whatever it is across the board, and we have filtered water. In fact, all of our vessels have hydration stations that you can uh, have your clients will be given a souvenir refillable metal bottle that they can use at those hydration stations or with any of the filtered water stations that we have throughout any of our vessels. In fact, that's our part of being eco-friendly. It actually saves us over 400,000 plastic water bottles a year. In addition to that, it's all of our choice wine, beer, and spirits. And this is not just a onesie twosie list of like one white wine or one red wine. There is an extensive list of alcohol and spirits that's included with their cruise fare. Now, the other thing that's included is their entertainment. And depending on where they are sailing and which vessel, that entertainment will vary. So for our US rivers, it's typically a large stage scale production or a cabaret style show lounge. If they're on our lakes and ocean product, we have an onboard trio, and then we'll often bring in specialty entertainers. For example, when we're in Detroit, we might have a Motown duo come on board. And then for our expedition cruises, that really is geared more on lectures and, and presentations. It's more of an educational aspect. So I like to say on our expedition cruises, we have edutainment. It's like entertainment meets education wrapped into one. But on the expeditions, there is a piano bar there as well. 
Now, another aspect of our entertainment is our enrichment programs. And this is where the destination really does come to life. So if we are in the heart of the Mississippi River area and it makes sense for us to have a Mark Twain impersonator on board, we'll bring him on board. If we have a Civil War battlefield reenactor on one of our Civil War themed cruises, we'll do that as well. We have Native American elders who come on board and talk story and tell us what life is like growing up on the reservation. Or we go out and visit the Ojibwe Cultural Center on an island in Ontario, Canada, because that is what is prevalent on our destinations if we go off the beaten path. Again, making sure we have this culturally immersive experience. Now, on our U.S. rivers, we also have what's called a River Lorian, which is our resident historian on the river. And they provide daily lectures about what's around every bend of the river and the navigation information and all of that history and culture wrapped into one. And then, of course, on our, our uh, expedition products, we have our lectures, and we truly have an educational aspect. And when you take the module on expeditions, you're going to learn a lot more about that component of it. Now, every day in each port of call, we include guided sightseeing tours. In most cases, it's a hop-on, hop-off motor coach tour that is especially prevalent for our U.S. river cruises. And in some destinations, we travel to with lakes and ocean. If it's not a hop-on, hop-off motor coach tour where we literally go around town in a loop and guests can get off at every single stop and decide what they want to do at their own pace. But we also have some traditional tours depending on the destination where everyone goes at the same time. So it really just depends on where they're sailing and what they're doing. And then for our expedition cruises, all of our marine-based activities are included. So the Zodiac boats and the kayaking. So People are not going to be nickeled and dimed every day to do something because every land-based port of call includes either hop on, hop off or a traditional tour. And for our expedition cruises, all of our marine base days include the expedition activities. Now, on board, every vessel has something slightly different. So from a recreation and wellness standpoint, we have some vessels with swimming pools, some with spa treatment rooms and fitness centers. But every one of our paddle wheelers has a fleet of bicycles that guests can use to kind of go around town on their own, and it's complimentary. And then every vessel has walking sticks available for guests, too. One thing we know is that guests want to stay connected. And of course, we, will, we know that you want them to post on their social media that they've booked with you and they're traveling here and there. Uh, so that way it can help you grow your business too, because we're all about supporting you with that too. But complimentary unlimited Wi-Fi is included on every cruise that we have. Again, whether it's rivers, lakes and ocean, or expedition experiences. The other thing that we love to do is make sure that our guests really have this enriching experience. So we also offer pilot house tours. We know those big blue water cruise ships don't really do that anymore, but that's something we feel is really still a viable education component. So they can come up and meet the captain and look at that navigation instrumentation panel and see how we're able to chart U.S. rivers or wherever it is we're sailing to. And in addition to that, if you have clients that are staying in the sweet level of accommodations, or what I like to call the sweet life, uh, there is a, a completely Set different set of up, amenities guys. that comes with staying in a suite. That's actually called our Commodore Services, and that elevated level of hospitality comes with welcome amenities, preferred dining times, uh, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff included. But in addition to that, some of them also include butler service. And when the butler service comes in, it's unpacking for you and packing at the end of your trip. It's also pre and post dinner canapes and reserved seating in the show lounge that your river butler will escort you to as well. So again, for people who like the sweet life, make sure they're looking at their suite amenities and by the way this photo is our loft suite on the American Duchess it's the only two-story uh, suite accommodation on America's rivers Okay, so for some of our voyages, we have themes associated with them. This is a little bit more prevalent on U.S. rivers than our lakes and ocean product, but this is where the destination has another chance at really coming to life for your clients. What we do is we make sure that there are activities on board as well as on land that are special themes to whatever it is that theme is for the week. 
It might be a musically inclined cruise where we have notable entertainers like Lee Greenwood, who comes on board and sails with us for a week and he sings God Bless the USA and other songs that he's famous for. We also have our celebrity chef, Regina Chabonneau, who's our culinary ambassador, who does culinary cruises where we have special tastings and cooking demonstrations. If you have clients that are into cocktails, we've got bourbon themed cruises, wine cruises, Civil War battle field cruises for your history buffs. The only cruise that has an additional cost is our Kentucky Derby cruise. And that is where you can sell an add-on package to that voyage, which visits the Churchill Down Stadium, where they can see the Rich. fastest two minutes Rich. in sports. Yeah. So otherwise, is. all will of our themed voyages are included as wasting? part of their cruise fare. It looks like now, the only thing not included not is gratuities. And as you can see on your screen, depending oh, on which experience they're having, it'll be a different cost for gratuity. So whether it's rivers, lakes and ocean, or expeditions. Now, the great thing is that this covers all of the key players on board our vessels. So housekeeping, dining room, bartenders, even our motor coach drivers, and our expedition staff as well. So again, they don't have to feel nickel and dimed every day. In fact, they can prepay these gratuities and get that out of the way. Just know if they do that, it's a great convenience factor, but it's not actually commissionable to you. So it's just nice to get it out of the way for them. All right, let's talk about some enhancements and ways that you can add money into your own pocket while providing your clients with a greater value of an enhanced vacation experience. Well, first and foremost, there's always travel insurance. So we want to make sure if you have clients that are in need of that, you can add that to every one of our voyages. But in addition to that, there are premium shore excursions. And we have a whole module in this academy dedicated to shore excursions, which includes the premiums and how to book them. Your insider tip here is to make sure that you watch that course, because in order to earn commission oh, on your premium shore experiences, you have to log in as a travel advisor to our shore excursions website, which is reserve my excursions com and you want to do this because if nothing else you know they're going to get on board and start booking those activities so don't sell yourself short make sure you're getting those top activities that have a tendency to sell out that that you don't want to have them wait listed for later on so again make sure you watch the module on our shore experiences Okay, lastly, I'll mention as an enhancement, we have our city stay packages, and this is a great way to add some nights onto your client's vacation. Instead of just the one pre-cruise hotel night, let's just say that goes away, it now becomes either a two, three, four, or five night vacation, depending on where they are and what they're doing. And the great thing about this is it includes a bunch of activities and tours that only the guests who purchase the city stay package receive. And this is a great way for them to do kind of an independent add-on where they have vouchers they can use for tours and activities, but we also have escorted tours and hosted tours. So again, there's quite a different variety in that. And that same module that I talked about with shore excursions, also also covers city stay packages with all of those details. All right, lastly, let's talk about specialty travelers because even though we talked about our generic, you know, demographic in the beginning about baby boomers and so forth, I do want to mention a couple of specialty traveler types. Okay, let's start off with guests with our accessibility needs because this is probably what we most frequently run into given the demographic of our guests on board. So the one thing I want to make sure you know, and I'm going to put up this list on the screen now, of all of the staterooms on our U.S. paddle wheelers that are completely accessible by way of a roll-in shower. So there's no aspect of our river cruises that a guest would not be able to experience because every paddle wheeler has uh, elevators on board, thresholds over the doorway to get them in and out of those areas easier, as well as the staterooms with grab bars on the wall and the pull-down closets. We also have some accessibility needs that can be added in for our hearing or visually impaired guests. And every one of our motor coaches also has uh, a wheelchair lift to get them up into that motor coach as well. And that means if they're in a walker or a wheelchair or a scooter, our drivers will get that out for them at every single stop when we're on our hop on hop off tour. So again, there's no aspect of our cruise that a guest with mobility issues wouldn't be able to enjoy. 
All right. In addition to our guests with accessibility needs, uh, you'll notice that we've got single travelers next. So three out of four of our paddle wheelers Thanks, have state Great rooms idea. that are priced accordingly for singles without a supplement. So uh, we even have some promotions that go on throughout the year where we've reduced the single supplement on regular double occupancy state rooms to about 125%. So you want to make sure with our you work with our reservation agents to find out what the best deal is for your clients because in in some cases, we may only have one cabin on board uh, that is single supplement free. And then in other cases, like the American Queen, we have about a dozen of them. So if you have someone who is a single traveler, there's some great options for them on US river cruises. Now, you probably noticed that both our mobility issues and our single traveler guests, all of those are really geared towards our US river cruise products. Our international product on lakes and ocean, as well as our expeditions are really really geared towards more mobile guests. Okay, lastly, I'll mention smokers because we do know that smokers are a traveler type that's out there. So every single vessel that we operate does have a designated smoking area. They're always outside and they're typically upstairs at the very top deck aft so that way the wind can blow the smoke away from all of our regular guests uh, and they can smoke tobacco as well as they can vape and they can use their e-cigarettes uh, and when we do cruise in the pacific northwest where marijuana is legal in those states it's important to note that we are governed by the u.s coast guard so there is no marijuana on board so make sure your smokers are all aware of what our rules are for on board in addition to that if you have a client with a true service animal not an ocean emotional support animal but a true service animal we do accept service animals on board and we can make arrangements for that uh, for your clients who may have those special needs lastly I'm gonna mention something about our alcohol policy so obviously we're an all-inclusive cruise so we include all of the alcohol on board as well but if somebody would nice. like to bring their own beverages <laughs> whether it's a bottle of wine or a six-pack they can certainly do that we're not gonna stop them we're not gonna check their bag for whatever that alcohol is and limit it they can just bring on what they want it actually wow. saves us money in the long one right so they can get what they want right off the bat when they come on board all right, so the last thing I'll mention before we close out this module really is our guest loyalty program. So we currently have the Steamboat Society of America program, which is going through a revamp. When that launches, we will make sure that you as travel advisors get all of that new information that out there. But what we want to make sure we do is that any of our guests who've traveled with us since our inception in 2012, they get credit for all of those cruises. So if you never activated their membership, or they never activated it, you want to make sure you do so. You can activate it on our website or by calling in or when they're sailing with us, they can do it on board at the purser's desk as well. You guys paying attention? Okay, lastly, social media. So we want to make sure you have access to all the tools that you need. Uh, we're going to go over travel agent support in a different module, but when it comes to social media, this one's easy. You can see all of our at signs and what our company name is there at AQ Voyages. So whether it's Facebook, or Twitter, or Instagram, or YouTube, you can share any of those items that we have on there with your own client database. And lastly, we want to thank you for your partnership because we would not be here without your support. And since we have started in 2012, we really have had a handful or two or three of accolades under our belts over these years. And again, we could not be here without your support in the field. So we thank you for your partnership across the board. Okay, I'm going to end my module two with a very fun famous saying from our founder and CEO John Wagoner grab a drink make a friend we'll see you around the boat we'll see you on the next module folks good luck with the quiz all right you guys ready let's go all right so you guys excited about going on this cruise click complete all right let me get out of this first there we go all right, do you want to complete? All right, let me click out of this first. So we're going to do the quiz, okay? So let's click quiz. See if that takes us to the quiz. You guys ready? Everybody in? Yeah, we don't want to leave anybody behind. And just so you know, again, it does take a little bit to come up, okay, guys? 
Yeah, it takes a little while for it to load. I think. To load, okay. All right, well, let's do it. Luckily, we got some help here that people have already taken the test. So thank you, Linda. But let's see if we can do it on our own, okay, guys? All right, so five questions. You must pass with an 80% or higher. Best of luck. Okay, guys? So let's go. Hit start. Again, this, this looks like it's going to be a little long one, but guys, you get invited on fam trips. I don't know. A lot of you are probably young. I could probably fit in with the, the crowd there, <laughs> especially with free alcohol and a Wi-Fi. I'd be in heaven. All right. Anybody's coming up? Yeah, probably. It'll come up. Let's go. So yeah, so make sure guys, you know, go back, take like the the um, accessibility video or, or slide, you know, save that. Um, so you know which cabins or which ships have it. Um, it'd be a young one on the ship, yeah. <laughs> but hey, if it's free, why not, right? You'd be running. Money, when you move your mouse, uh -huh. is it green? Oh, about the answer. Oh, is it yeah. social slow? Okay. <laughs> It's taking forever. Oh my gosh. I know. Has anybody's come up yet? Again, probably with 35 of us on. There goes. Two minutes. <laughs> All right. True or false? the ideal and let me know if you guys all have the same questions too a lot of times they mix them up okay so again we want to make sure everybody passes true or false the ideal target traveler for aqv is someone who's well educated well traveled affluent and considered a senior mature traveler that is true correct okay again don't hit complete hit next and then wait another two minutes. No. <laughs> Again, what I tell people also, don't watch this with us and then wait and do the test later and stuff. Do it with us now. That way at the end, you get your certificate and you're ready to go. All right, Jacob, don't worry. Again, we'll wait. We have the answers in here for you. Okay. Yeah, we leave nobody behind. Is my moving? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, MG. <laughs> Crazy, huh? All right, everybody else is still loading. I'm posting, grab a drink, make a friend. We'll see you around the boat. Post, post, post. That's all what I do all the time. All right, there it goes. So the evening dress code for travelers on the vessel is... Country club casual. Okay. Anybody else? Correct. That's correct. Thank you. Again, guys, if you're timed out and stuff, we'll wait for you. Just go back. The answer is there for you also. So we're going to say country club casual. All right. So we'll go to number three, maybe.
Uh, maybe I'll go make a cocktail. <laughs> I have to put, do my excursions for my princess cruise. What are we going to do? Like I said, I don't mind just sitting on the deck. Pina Colada. My phone, book and travel while I'm on the cruise, guys. Again, being a travel agent, you make money anywhere, all right? So I've been on a cruise ship. I've been in the rainforest. I've been in the cornfields. <laughs> all right. True or false? While the AQV voyages are geared toward a more mature traveler, children of any age are also allowed as passengers. Is that true? True. Thank you. All right. So again, it's true, and then it's casual, and then it's true. Okay, those are the three. Everybody good? Following along? And again, Finish this up, get those fam trips, get those discounts on cruises, sell these, you know, that age group, they've got money, guys. They've got the time, the money, get out there and focus on advertising, you know, share the single travelers. There's a lot of single ladies out there, you know, in their older age and, you know, they want to get out and mingle and meet people and have fun, you know, so I don't know about focusing on smokers, but, you know, at least if you do have somebody ask, but you could focus on the, you know, um, accessible for the dis disabled and stuff. And again, it doesn't have to be people just in wheelchairs and stuff. So that's another great thing about, you know, this um, country club casual. It is. Yeah, I think it is. Wasn't it country club casual? Yes. Correct. Yeah. Yep. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. All right. So which you said isn't for which of these features are included in the cruise fair? Okay, entertainment, gratuities, choice, shore excursions. I don't know. I'm just checking transfer. Is it all of them or what is it? All but the gratuities and no, the post cruise hotel night. Okay. Thank you. Those are the only two that aren't included. So you've got the transfer pre-cruise, okay? You've got the cultural experience and guest speakers, just like the entertainment. Um, again, alcohol is included. They can also bring their own. And then shore excursions. That's cool that it's included. So the hotel they have to pay for and gratuities, okay? All right, looks like we lost a couple more people. Again, stay with us, guys, or finish it on your own. Maybe they're youngins and they don't want to go on these cruises. <laughs> me, I'll go anywhere they send me. <laughs> All right, one more, one more. Is everybody doing okay? Sorry, it takes so long. Okay, cool, thank you, Stephanie. Let's hang in there. I know. But again, one more certificate you guys can show. Look what I'm doing, guys. Get out there. Let people know, you know. Oh, you don't want to go on an American Queen? Well, I'm a specialist on Carnival. I'm a specialist on Princess. I'm a specialist on, you know, Viking voyages. Um, so again, you know, let them know. And while it's loading, I just want to show you over here um, all the trainings that we've already done. Okay. So again, you know, let me know when it pops up. But um, right here is a spreadsheet that has all the trainings we have already done and the answers just like today. Bahamas, um, Spain. You have somebody going to Spain. You want to find out about Spain? Do this training. Okay. So again, uh, lots of Marty, great, great I'm stuff. Popped up. Uh, popped up perfect thank you all right indicate which three items from the below are considered commissionable enhancements how do you get paid right that you can pre-sell to your clients okay so there's three of them all right so um prepaid gratuities i don't think we get paid on gratuity city state packages with airport i would say that's probably one yes 
Bon Voyage amenity, premium shore excursions, including pre post tours. I think that's probably one because it's premium. That means they probably pay extra, right? Yep, yep. And we get travel the shore insurance. Yep. Yes. And, and travel insurance. Because, of course, you always, always, always want to add that travel insurance. If they don't want it, at least you offered it. But if you don't offer it and something happens and they come back and say, Linda didn't offer it to me. Well, why not, Linda? You know, where at least Linda can say, yes, I did. Look, Marnie, you declined it. Okay. So that's why you always, every time you book something, offer the insurance. If they decline, get it in writing. That way, if something does happen, they can't come back at you. Okay. All right. Everybody good? City stay, stay packages with the hotel transfer, tours, meals, everything. You can get commission on that. Premium shore excursions, regular excursions are included, but premium ones you get paid if you add those on and then travel insurance. All right, let's check it out. So we hit complete. I'm always afraid to move on. Yes, <laughs> complete. Do you want to complete? Yes. All right. Do, 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 do. I like that they double ask you, do you want to complete? Are you sure you want to complete? <laughs> yes, just move to the next page, please. I know, hurry up and load. <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right. Okay, everybody doing good? For five, I think it's city stay is one. All right, well, let's see. I think we did that, right? The city stay with the tours. Yeah, the, I think we did the city stay, the travel insurance, and the tours, the premium tours. Yes. Okay. I got five correct. Yay, you got it? It came back? Just now it did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. There we go. Yay, all right. And it only took 11 minutes. That's not our fault, right? <laughs> all right, so everybody got them right? Ready to move on? Does anybody need to review any? Again, let us know before we move on because it's sometimes we can't go back. Okay, congratulations. Let's move on to module three. Are you guys learning stuff? <laughs> all right another video um kind of nice because usually i read it's like <laughs> okay so here we go let's go ahead and start this one welcome to module three on fit and group reservation logistics we're going to start off this module by talking about general FIT reservations and the finances and policies associated with them. So from a financial standpoint, we want to make sure you are aware of the fact that if it is a promotional fare, full payment is going to be due at time of booking. If it is a non-promotional fare, that deposit is going to be due within three days. Now, the deposit amount actually varies based on how long their voyage is. So if they are cruising for nine days or less, it's a $500 per person deposit. If they're cruising for 10 days or more, it's a $1,000 per person deposit. And that final payment will always be due 120 days prior to sailing. If there is a special circumstance that's out Thank there you, because of COVID or other promotional fares, we will make sure you're aware of that at time of booking. In addition to that, I'm sure you're probably wondering when you're gonna get your commission. So our commission payouts take place within two weeks of the client's disembarkation, and that will be automatically sent to your organization. 
from a cancel and change standpoint, our cancellation fees are based on a tiered schedule. So once money has been placed on the booking, it is automatically subject to a $250 per person administrative fee. And then depending on how close they are to departure um, is how that percentage increase Cara, of penalty will appear. And commission here, will be protected if they cancel within full YouTube. penalties, which is within 30 days prior to sailing. If your client makes any upgrades to their booking, so any changes to their booking that results in an upgrading cost, there will not so be any fees with associated with it. that since there's already an increase in cost. Now, name changes is something else I want to talk about because in the past, we used to have a policy that was very strict about no name changes. But today, we will allow one name to change on the booking, so one will have to remain the same. Uh, and spelling errors, of course, do not count. So we want to make sure that those name changes, should they happen, just be pretty simple across the board. Okay, let's talk about refunds real quick because the refundable items that you need to know about is always going to be the port fees as well as the taxes, any of the prepaid gratuities that they've included, and if they have prepaid for some premium tours, those are refundable as long as they're canceled within 36 hours prior to that tour commencing. For our city stay package add-ons, which we talked a little bit about module one, and you'll learn more about them in the module on shore excursions, but the city stay packages have the same tiered cancellation policy as our regular booking does. So just make sure you refer to that if needed. Okay, specialty cruise processes. Let's talk about wait list because sometimes what your client wants isn't always available. I always recommend that you try to give them an alternative so that way they are confirmed on what they want. And then you can wait list them. The wait list is $150 per person. And if that wait list clears, they will um, get that easily processed uh, through to their booking. But if it does not clear, it's refundable. Now, the process, if they do clear, is that our reservations team will contact you and let you know that your client has cleared the wait list. They'll let you know what the current promotional fare is because they'll be applicable to whatever the current promo is and then what the timeline is for final payment. The other specialty cruise type is our back-to-back -back voyage. I'm going to kind of pause here for a second because I think a lot of people think a back-to-back -back might have to be literally a round trip, like New Orleans to Memphis, back to New Orleans. I don't want you to think about back-to-back -back cruises this way. A back-to-back -back can actually be the same vessel in any combination. So perhaps it's not one that's round trip. You might have somebody who flies into Pittsburgh and does the Ohio River cruise, and they do Pittsburgh to Louisville. And then the second segment is actually Louisville to Memphis or something of that nature. As long as you have at least two cruise segments together, that counts as a back-to-back, -back, and they do get a 5% discount on the cruise fare as well as their normal one pre-cruise hotel night, but then they also receive a $50 per person onboard credit, and we give them the complimentary premium shore excursion on turn day. So what's going to happen is when everybody disembarks, they will get off as well and do that premium tour, and we'll comp them for that tour, and then they'll come back later on with all of the new guests who are embarking for the first time. And then we'll also give them $20 per person to use on lunch that day uh, while they're out and about on that tour. The other specialty cruise type I want to talk about is our onboard cruise program. And this is new. It only started uh, last year in 2021. So we want to make sure you're already getting your clients to think about their next cruise because we support you 100% in our onboard cruise program. So our future cruise consultants that are on board will have a special offer that is applicable to them only while they're on board. And they'll be able to place a deposit. And that's the great thing is that this promotion fare does not require payment in full so it's an exception to the rule and the first thing our sales consultants do is they look to see is it a travel agent booking and if it is it goes right back to you so get them starting to think about where they want to travel to next
Okay, let's switch from FIT to group reservations now. So for our group reservations, there are a couple of different types of groups that work well with American Queen Voyages. The first one is our preformed group. This is ideal, and if, if we were all travel advisors with preformed groups, we could be super rich out there, right? Because that means your clients already know who exactly is traveling with them, and they already have this idea of what they want. So it's probably more along the lines of family reunion, or, or other types of travelers of that nature who know each other. Whereas our speculative groups are ones where you've decided, I think I want to put a group together, so I'm going to pick a random date, get a contract for it, and then start to promote it uh, and hope that you sell it. So those spec groups can be sometimes a little bit more difficult, but we know that's probably the more common type that you're trying to put together. And then our third group type is our charters. At American Queen Voyages, we love everything from just regular groups to full ship charters. Uh, and that's not just for our paddle wheelers, but it's also our international cruises and our expedition products. So if you are a charter lover, make sure you reach out to your regional account manager because that is going to be your first step when it comes to booking charters. Okay. Logistics of the group. So let's talk about these basics. It is a minimum of eight double occupancy cabins. It used to be 10, but we've reduced that down to eight. So if you're familiar with us from before, know that that's a change. So eight double occupancy cabins. And every group has to have a group leader because that group leader is where the tour conductor credit is going to apply to. Now, there are two ways to book groups with us, and it's either deposited or non-deposited. So let's break this down so we can make it really clear so you understand how groups work with us. If it is a deposited group, that means that that deposit is required to actually secure and hold the allotment of space. And it's going to be due up front. That money is going to be due up front, and it is really non-refundable as well. This deposit is also per cabin, uh, regardless of how big your group is. And this is when the actual stateroom number will be applied to that individual reservation, so to speak, within your group. So you will know exactly what you have if you're depositing. What happens is a lot of times we get agencies who are full believers and we know we can sell this space. We do it every year. And so they decide to front the deposit up front. So that's definitely something you can take the risk and do. Uh, if you're a smaller agency, you might not have that ability and that's okay. We have another option for you. But if you do want to front the deposit, names are not required. But once you do put names on the booking, then it would be subject to any change in cancel fees. The other way to book is our non-deposited group virtual space, okay? This is virtual. It means your allotment is virtual, that no space is actually being held until you place a deposit on that reservation. So we give you a contract for it, you've got pricing for it, but until you actually put money on it, it's not held. And that also means the cabin numbers are not uh, assigned and you can't even request them because it's a virtual allotment. So again, once you put money on it, then you get the cabin numbers. And this type of space also requires us to have kind of a detailed marketing plan from you so we know how you're going to put forth the effort to market this group and our regional account managers are going to help work with you on making sure that you're doing your best and we're doing our best to help you solidify that group. Okay, let's talk about tour conductor credits for a minute because this is going to be a lot of information. So when I get to the bottom of this slide, I'll try to take a breath so you can screenshot it in case you need all this info. So the TC is one for every 12 paying passenger, and it's applicable to the 13th paid passenger. Now, the first and second TC goes to the tour conductor and the other person in their cabin, if they so wish. The third and fourth uh, are really applied more as a uh, commission. So you want to make sure you at least get those first two covered in there. There is also a maximum of four TCs per group. Uh, so that would be 52 packs on board. So that's a good size group for you there. Uh, and again, that second TC would be applied to the second guest in the stateroom. And any excess TCs is going towards commission, like I said a moment ago. 
Also, the application of that TC for the group leader will actually take place towards the end of the booking process as your group prepares to close out, so to speak. It actually is applied as a discount to their voyage fare, so the group leader's fare will be discounted, and then any original money that they paid will be refunded at that time. So. I know it's a little bit uh, intricate and involved, so our group sales agents are here to help you with all of your questions about TCs and anything very specific to your own group. So how do you request a contract or an allotment uh, from us? So you can actually do this right in our Travel Advisor portal under the Sales Support tab, and you literally can just click right in the middle of the page under the application, fill out all the details there, and a member of our group's department will get back to you with that contract. You can also request it through your group's, uh, I'm sorry, your regional account manager as well. Now, the only thing different when it comes to finance logistics is that you can actually hold group space for seven days. So that's very different than FIT, and the names and date of birth must be added to that reservation. So if you've got their names and date of birth, we can hold it for seven days. The only other difference is that the deposit is due within seven days, uh, regardless of the promotional fare and so forth. So you get a little bit of leeway with that groups there. And the deposit amount is exactly the same as our FIT bookings. Same with final payment and commission. So the rest of that is exactly the same as FIT. So what happens then is we send you a group agreement. Uh, you review that group agreement and then you sign this five page document and send it back to us. And once you return it, we send you the official contract as well. Then it comes down to advertising. So we wanna make sure you're gonna to talk to our group sales representative about what those marketing initiatives are. If you need marketing collateral, our group's department is fantastic about making sure you get the right flyers or other items you need to produce the marketing materials required. And then they'll establish how and when that you're going to advertise uh, your components to get this group together. And we'll do some ongoing reviews throughout the entire process. That'll take place between your regional account manager and our group's department. And then we're gonna set some review dates. So the first review will take place 30 days after you set up your group. And then after that, it'll be the 210 day mark prior to departure, and if you haven't sold everything, we may recall some of that allotment. And then at the 180 day mark, if you haven't sold those spaces, we'll recall them at that time. But don't worry, we're not gonna recall anything without contacting you first, making sure you're aware of that. Okay, there are some things you can add to your group reservations that we often forget to do. So premium shore excursions. If you need group space for meetings and events, we can arrange that. Cocktail parties and receptions, uh, there's all sorts of things that you can do, including the shore excursions that are premium. So don't sell yourself short. Don't think just because you got the group, you're done. There's things you can add on to provide greater value, including those city stay packages even. Okay, lastly, let's talk about required documentation. So every single booking, whether it's FIT or groups, every guest has to fill out the guest information form. And this needs to be done more than 30 days in advance because 30 days is where we cut it off to issue their documents because we actually do physical documents still. So you can get to this uh, guest information form from our consumer website, from our travel agent portal under additional resources, or in your booking confirmation that was emailed to you, there's also an attachment you can fill out and then scan and send it back. I think it's much easier if you just do it directly on the website. Uh, it's a lot easier than scanning and sending back. Lastly, let's talk about documents, which like I said, are issued 30 days in advance. These are now shipped via US Postal Service two to three days priority mail. What is important for you to know as an agent is that you can designate where you want those Katie documents no. to go. So if you belong to a host agency, that's really important because you might not want it to come to you at your house because you're never going to meet with that client, right? So if you want to have it sent directly to them, you can do that. And anyone who books within 15 days of departure is going to receive electronic documents. And everything in our document wallet includes luggage tags as well as the itinerary 
history, there's a voyage confirmation, there's information in there about premium shore excursions. So if you're waiting for that last sit down with your client to say, here's your document wallet and everything included, there's a book in there on premium shore experiences so you can sell them those before they walk away that final time. All right, lastly, let's talk about contacts and how to actually make your reservations. So for FIT reservations, you can contact our reservations call center. We are open seven days a week to take your calls. Uh, we have great office hours. So if you are a US or a Canadian travel advisor, you can call in on our toll free number. If you are an international travel advisor, make sure you reach out to our international sales team as promotions and rates are going to be different. And don't forget folks, everything that we do is based in US dollars. So whether they're Canadian or from a different country, everything we do is US dollars based. And then lastly, our groups department, we have an email, a generic email, groups at aqvoyages.com, as well as a direct phone number. And you can see we have a fantastic team of friendly faces that are here to help you with your group sales initiatives. So with that, I am going to wrap up this current module and I would wish you the best of luck on your little quiz and we'll see you on the next module. Take care. Bye-bye. Whoa, whoa. All right. Let's do it, guys. Do, 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 do. Let's hope it moves faster this time. Hey, oops, fun. Whoa. I'm on mouse. Okay, everybody ready? Let's start. What was that? The dog jumping off the bed. Wow. Come on, let's go see. All right, true or false. Once money is placed on a reservation, it is subject to cancel and change fees regardless of the number of days prior to departure, a change or cancellation occurs. True or false? What is true, okay? It is subject to cancel regardless of the number um, due to change, okay? So that's true. Let's go to the next one. We have eight questions on this one, guys. So Come on, come on. Everybody else is moving. Mine just popped up. Okay, perfect. Thanks. There it goes. See? All right. What is the deposit amount for a seven night cruise booked on a non promotional fare? 500 per person? 500 yep. 500 per person? Yeah. Because okay. it's non promotional, guys. So 500 per person. All right. Everybody good? 
If you're still spinning, so the first question was true. Let me put it in here for you guys. And then 500 per person. All right. Next. <clears throat> what do you make the beer sandwich? Wrong. No, I'm good. Thank you. I think I'm going to have a soup. Warm or me up. <laughs> it's a little chilly in here. <laughs> or I have chili, actually. Okay. The show is something too. Okay. True or false? Promotional fares require full payment at time of booking. True or false? Promotional fares, full payment. All right, so Linda says true. So remember that because it's a promotion. They need to get in and get that booked, right? Okay, so remember that, guys. Promotional fare, they need to be ready to book it. Okay, so that is true. Okay, hey, thanks guys for hanging in there. We got 28 of you. We lost 12. <laughs> so but you're going to show them. I know <laughs> it is a long one. I know. I got a. Um, here it's. Can you hand me my, my uh, Coles thing? Where is it? Right there. The Coles jacket. The oh, jacket. Oh, yeah. So, so we got this at Coles. Thank you. So we we wear this in the morning on our way to the office. I love you see it. <laughs> nice and cozy. <laughs> um, so after you get certified, um, again, you're going to get invited on um, fam trips, familiarization trips. You're going to get invited to promotional uh, webinars. You're going to get all kinds of promotional material. Um, again, after you get certified, you're going to be able to post and, and get discounts on the cruises and mm -hmm. stuff. So, yeah, very, very um, mm -hmm. exciting. Again, mm -hmm. make sure, you know, on all these mm -hmm. different programs that we do, guys, you get a lot of amazing perks. You get lunch and learns, get invited to restaurants, events, et cetera. OK. Um, all right, so true or false, groups consist of eight double occupancy cabins or more. What was that? Is that true? You know, it was 12 for the credits, but a group is true. Eight. Oh, true. It used to be 10 and they changed it to eight. Okay, thank Correct. you. So it is eight. Okay, yes. very good. Thank you very much. So that is true. Go to the next one. So Carlos, you're saying, would it be considered hired? Again, you're not hired. You are a travel agent providing a service, okay? So you are your own business. You are now able to sell these cruises. You're able to sell them anyway, but now you're going to be a specialist, okay? So again, that's why we do these, to, to give you the knowledge to help sell to your customers, to give you more knowledge and experience, okay? So again, that's why I tell everybody, just try to get on any live trainings you can, learn from all the different leaders and stuff. We've got tons of trainings out there, guys. Um, and again, it's great, bless you, to learn from each different leader that's out there because you may like the way I do something, but you may not like the way I do it this way. So you like the way Amy does it over here, or Linda does it over here, or Sarah does it over here. So um, bless you. <laughs> All right. Refundable items consist of port fees and taxes, prepaid shore excursions, as long as they're canceled 36 hours prior to the tour, and prepaid gratuities. 
refundable items, okay? Um, I would say refundable, the prepaid shores, um, refundable prepaid gratuities, but not the port fees, right? No, nope, it should be port fees too. It's all of them. Okay, all of them. Okay, cool. Yep. Thank you. All right, Jacob, look at you. So it's all of them. Refundable items. All right, at least it's moving a little quicker, right? Little. <laughs> I love, I, a little bit. I love that they're going to do the port fees too. Most of right. them never give you your port fees back. Exactly. All right. Do, 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 Training. Training. I have to make sure my thing is still turning, make sure I hit it. <laughs> okay, six is true. Okay, let's see. Guests can wait list for a sale date or cabin category with $150 per person deposit. True. true or false? That is true. Okay, so they can get on the wait list if they want a specific cabin or sale date. Okay. Two more, two more. Yowza, yowza, yowza. Yeah, some of these I usually read and it's like for three hours, what she's doing, I, I love this training because it's like, ah, okay, you listen, you multitask, right? So again, guys, you know, if you need to get off for any reason or whatever, just be sure to go back in and finish them. Um, we will again, you know, have this recorded if you miss some of the test questions and stuff, but if you can hang in there again, if you need to make dinner, lunch, you know, or whatever, take a bath, you know. <laughs> You can probably take a bath by the time we get to the next one. So, all right. What discount do guests receive if they book back-to-back -back cruise? What discount do guests receive? The 10, 15, 10, 15, 5, 5. <laughs> five percent all right so very good five percent very good all right next so all the recordings will be right here on my youtube channel okay so i'll share that with you guys right here and then as i said they're also on this spreadsheet that sandy keeps up to date um so especially if there's like three or four that you have to do like here australia was a four-parter you don't want to have to go through my youtube trying to find those okay so we have them in order on this screen for you okay yeah only five more but <laughs> we'll get there we'll get there all right all right guys so again congratulations thanks for hanging in there let's get this let's get her done right get her done <clears throat> What else do you have to do on nice, beautiful Saturday, right? <laughs> How do we access this spreadsheet? You just click on it and then you can save it or join our incentive voucher group. And it's right here under featured. It's right at the beginning. Sandy keeps it updated. Um, just if you join this group, you need to make sure you answer the questions or you will not be approved for the group, okay? All right. So again, incentive voucher group. It's a great program that we have. All right. So true or false, the GIF, the guest information form is optional and not required to submit 
prior to documents being released. False. Yep, yeah, that is false, guys. All right. Yay. All right. Let's hit complete because we we've done them all, right? Yes, we are done and we want to move on to support. Let's see how we did. What do you think? Eight out of eight? I think so. Thanks to all you amazing agents helping each other and me. <laughs> again, I, I'm multitasking. That's really true. How does that happen? Oh, let me see. The only way they disappear is if they ask to be moved to another agent or if they had another account and corporate found out and they canceled them. So I would follow up. Follow up, follow up. All right, Jacob, no worries. Again, thank you. Make sure you finish. Let's do it. All right. Oh, good. Six minutes. Can get that one done quick. Eight out of eight. Woo, woo, woo. Congratulations, everybody. Let's move on. Everybody pass. Again, make sure if you need anything, let us know. Otherwise, we're moving on. Moving on up. To, uh, to a high-rise apartment in the sky. I know. Great song and great show. <laughs> module four on Keep my day job, agent though, right? support. <laughs> this is a quick module, folks. So let's Fun start shows, off right? with the basics on our websites. And this will be our AmericanQueenVoyages.com website. You can actually spell it out if you want. You can even still use the old AmericanQueenSteamboatCompany.com website. Uh, but this is really the consumer site, which once you get there now, you can actually go down into rivers, lakes, and ocean or expedition and select which experience you want. And then it'll bring you to that page but the most important takeaway is that if you scroll to the bottom of that page there will be a link to the travel agent portal and that is where you need to make sure you have access to because that is kind of like your toolbox it's the keys to the kingdom here so on the travel agent portal which the direct website is agents.aqvoyages.com this is where once you register and sign up, you will then be on our email list to get all the current promotions and special deals that are out there. But it's really where you can find a robust set of tools available to you. I'm going to walk you through some of these and know that we're currently making some enhancements to the portal as well. So depending on when you visit the site versus when you watch this module, you may see something just slightly different. But let's go ahead and walk through some of the more important features of the portal. And that first one is the education and training page which you've probably already found because you're here listening to our training course but let me make sure I point out in addition to this being the landing page that has an explanation about what our training program is about with a quick link the actual training platform that you're using today to listen to this is not housed inside the portal it's a completely separate website with a different username and password so that's probably one of the number one questions we get is I got locked out of the portal and you think it's the Academy or I got locked out of the Academy and you think it's the portal. They're actually two separate sites. So for anything training related, please come to me directly. Uh, again, my email address is training at aqvoyages.com. But on this same education and training tab is where you will find uh, information about site inspections, which because of COVID in 2022, we are currently not operating site inspections but when they come back if you're on our list you'll hear about it and then we also have our travel agent rate link on here which you can actually apply directly on the website and I'll talk more a little bit about agent rates in a second but since you are here as part of the Academy I know I don't need to talk about this too much but again it's a separate website mycruiseacademy.com I suggest you just save that as a URL favorite you can just easily log in and you can actually go in and out and stop the course as many times as you need to if you listen to my welcome message you probably already heard that information but 
once you are certified, you are eligible for travel agent Ooh. rates and FAM trips. And those are two completely different things for us. Travel agent rates <laughs> are a great way for you to utilize your own vacation time at a discounted rate that is available year round. So all you have to do is go to the agent portal under that education and training tab and click on travel agent rates, fill out the online application, upload your certificate from this academy course and then if we have space available at that 45 day mark we will get you approved so again you can only apply 45 days in advance for the travel agent rate fam trips okay. are completely different those are offered in by invitation only to our certified agents uh, and they're typically hosted by a member of our sales team such as myself or your regional account manager, and we'll have special activities on board uh, and special events across the way as well. Now, in addition to that, I mentioned regional account manager, so we wanna make sure you know how to find your local sales representative. So on that sales support tab, that first drop down in there is the sales team. So if you're not sure who your representative is, you can find their contact information uh, as well as their photo so you know what they look like. So if you're at a show, and you can flag them down and say hi to them, uh, but that is where you're gonna find your sales support features within that tab itself. Now, in addition to that, there's also information on the reservations phone number and the groups uh, department so that's a whole nother course that we've talked about already but just in case you need a reminder under sales support is that groups tab where you can request your space for group allotments and then we also have a tab here for international reservations so if somebody is listening to this course and you are outside the United States and Canada make sure you click on this tab so you can find out all the details about how to make your international reservation bookings and then lastly we have sales and marketing collateral on here so there are constantly rotating brochures and flyers and the sales and marketing collateral tab is where you're going to to find that. Uh, there's brochures available, so you can actually click on the brochure and download it. Uh, within that, you can also share it. So if you have somebody that you want to actually send that brochure to electronically, you can do that directly through the agent portal. Um, in addition to that, we have a ton of sales collateral that is customizable. So you can put your call to action in those fields and drive that business back to you. And these are pretty simple flyers. And then there's also some agent collateral in here for you as a resource too. Under that sales and marketing tab, we've also included a hyperlink to the Sprout Loud website because we do have some partnership with Sprout Loud that allows you to do some more direct mail pieces. Okay, so that wraps up your quick overview on travel advisor support. So thank you for listening to this module number four, and we will see you on the next course. Good luck with the quiz. Bye-bye. Yay. All right. All year long to use, yes. Who doesn't love discounts, right guys? Or free trips. Like I said, I went to Jamaica for free. They had um, uh, a lot of the ones in Jamaica, $25 or, or free. Um, they had one to Croatia and Turkey for nine days for everything for only $600. All right, let's take this test, guys. Yeah, so stay plugged into all the chats and stuff because we do post it a lot. And and cruises even, guys. You know, $5 cruises, $10 cruises, free cruises. Uh, I have a lot of agents that are on that free MSC cruise. They just gave it away to, to the agents. Like, you know, un unfortunately, I couldn't go because we're stuck here in Lincoln right now. But um. But yeah, you just pay port taxes and fees. So make sure you guys register with all the cruise lines if you love to cruise. All right, so you can find a list of regional account managers and their contact information on what landing page? Probably say a sales support. Correct. Thank you. All right, so sales and support is where you're gonna find your help, your account manager contact. I can't believe we still have flies here. You know, I got a toothache. I got to make an appointment with my dentist when I get back. Probably need a root canal. 
It's been a miserable week this week. <laughs> Take me home, country road. Two weeks. Two oh. weeks I'll be home. Please, Marnie, we need you. We want you home. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, I just want to be home. All right. Next, true or false, marketing collateral, including customizable flyers, images, and brochures are available on the travel agent portal. That is true. And that is true on all our vendors, guys. Okay. You get all kinds of free marketing material, whether you can download it or get it sent to your house. Make sure you're using those. Those are free marketing material for you guys. You can do email campaigns. You can get a mail to your home. Disney does it. Um, Universal Studios, Carnival. Put your labels on the back and take them out to nail salons, doctor's offices, libraries, community centers, okay? Market, market, market. Free marketing material. You just go under the marketing tab under Carnival, under Disney, under Universal, all of them, Hawaii, okay? They'll send you boxes of free marketing material. And I've got training on it also, how to order collateral, et cetera, if you need it. Um, I'll put my phone number here in case you guys need me for anything. Again, I'm not the best booker, okay? I've been with the company 70 years I usually just do bookings for family and friends. I mainly do the team building side of the business just because I have so much other stuff going on. True or false, site inspections are on hold due to COVID. All right. So I would say probably true now because they- It's true. It's still, yeah. So um, just so you know, Disney, we were able to go on a Disney cruise inspection. We were able to go on a carnival cruise inspection, but right now they are on hold. Um, but once they open up, guys, take advantage. Again, if you do the Disney, it shows you under benefits and it'll open up. And when we were in Disney World, uh, what, three years ago, 2019, I think it was, we were able to go on the Disney dream ship. And again, you get to do a tour while it's in port, see the suites, the fine dining restaurants, the, the uh, clubs, the um, entertainment, and everything. And again, the casinos, you're taking pictures and sharing on social media. Guys, look at this ship. You know, I never thought I'd be able to get on a Disney cruise ship and I'm here, you know. Uh, what are the requirements for a travel professional to take advantage of reduced travel agent rates? Mark all that apply. They can apply to any voyage no earlier than 45 days prior. Agent must be an academy certified agent. Agents must have sold in the past 12 months. So I know you must be an agent, a certified agent with them. I think it's 45 days. Do you have to have sold anything? No. Okay. And again, that's great, guys. Some companies do require you make a sale, okay? Luckily, with Princess and now here, you do not need to, to earn that benefit, okay? But you never know. Like in travel, things change on a daily basis. So that's why I always tell everybody, take advantage of the perks now. Um, we got free tickets to Escaret, Mexico, when they were when we did our trainings. Hundred dollar tickets, we got two each. Um, but now they stopped doing that, you know. So again, you never know. Um, so as soon as you get a benefit, use it, book it, <laughs> take advantage before they either take it away or um, or make there be a requirement of sales and stuff. Okay. All right. All right, last one. Educational FAM trips are offered by invitation only to certified agents. That is true. You have to be invited. And as I said, guys, if you get invited, take them up on it. Why not? Most of them are free or very highly discounted. All right, complete. Yes. Sorry, my tooth is hurting again. <laughs>
All right, five out of five. Whoop, whoop. Doing great, guys. Now, shore excursions. These are kind of fun because now you can add this to, you know, your certificate. Guys, look at these shore excursions that we can get booked with your cruise. Okay. All right. Here we go. Welcome to module <laughs> five on shore excursions and city state you packages. 20 minutes. <laughs> you know, depending on the type of experience you've booked for your clients, their shore excursion opportunities may vary. So let's talk about the types of shore experiences that they're going to have the ability to be on, depending on what their product is. So for our U.S. Rivers product, this means our guests will have included hop on hop off tours and the ability to purchase premium tours. From there on our lakes and ocean product, we will have hop on hop off in certain destinations, but we may also have traditional tours. And of course, premium shore excursions can be purchased as well. And then lastly, for our expeditions product, this is where we're going to have traditional tours on land-based days, but because this is an expedition cruise, any of our marine-based days will mean that the marine activities are included as well. More on that in just a few minutes. And then as you guessed it, I'm sure every port of call will also have premium tours. So rivers, lakes and ocean and expedition will always have premium tours that you can pre-sell to your clients that are commissionable. We'll talk about how to do that in a minute, but let's start off with the included hop on hop off tour. And this is an example of our shore excursions desk, which happens to have a hop on hop off boarding pass ticket dispensary located within the wall. Now, some of these vessels might have a standalone kiosk, but the whole purpose of this is to provide guests with tickets to the rush hour times when we first arrive into a destination. So in this example, you'll see that rush hour consists of four times and the guests would just need to go and touch the screen to which time they would like to Excuse depart me. on for their first outing of the day and then how many tickets they need and click print the boarding ticket and that's it they take that ticket the next morning to the coach they only need it that first time they're on and then they're off and running Okay, let's talk about how the hop on hop off operates because in this example, you'll see we have a map of Natchez, Mississippi, which every guest will receive the map the night before we get into the destination. Now, this actually goes in a loop around town. Guests can get on the motor coach and ride the entire loop and decide where they want to get off later, or they can get off at every single stop. It's up to them to customize their vacation. And the great thing is that we include the majority of admission fees at the attractions we stop at. In this particular example, if you look at the right hand side of this map, you'll see that each item is numbered and nine out of 10 of them have a star next to it. That star indicates that it is a paid for attraction. So American Queen Voyages has covered the cost of that admission for them. All of our motor coaches are luxury motor coaches that have an expert team of drivers leading the pack. And our drivers are an extension of our crew. They're just on land. And our guests get to experience them every single day. So they really do get to know our coach drivers. Now, our motor coaches are equipped with Wi-Fi. And every day when we get into a port of call, we bring in a local expert tour guide who can provide all the key area information <laughs> and narrate the tour as we go around town. And that way, guests can do it from the comfort and convenience of the motor coach so they don't have to worry about hustling with some headsets to keep up with a guide holding one of those lollipop sand signs now when they go around town all they have to do is look for these sandwich board signs which essentially tell them where the next stop is so if they wanted to actually walk between stops there's a great possibility they could do that as well all right the traditional tours 
How do you describe those? Well, they're pretty traditional. We arrive into a destination and we take all of our guests, typically at one time, to certain points of interest or attractions and we all go together as a group. Uh, these traditional tours, or we call them traditional tours, is because basically it's not a hop on hop off tour. Uh, and we'll talk more about those as we get into different experiences. But an example of that would be when we're in Mackinac Islands as part of our lakes and ocean experience, we're going to put everybody in a horse-drawn carriage ride and go through the national park. So that's the included traditional tour versus a hop-on, hop-off coach. So again, it depends on the destination. Now, the expedition activities, like I mentioned earlier, is anything marine-based. So in addition to the land and the, the ports of call that we actually physically put boots on the ground to, where we're going to have traditional tours, the marine-based days will have our zodiac boat rides and our kayaking. So again, all of those marine activities are included in their cruise fare. And again, across the way, whether it's expeditions or lakes and ocean or rivers, we'll always have premium tours. So Let's now talk about premium shore excursions because this really is about helping you look like the expert, making sure you have the knowledge you need to appropriately recommend our top selling activities because you know your clients are gonna book them once they get on board. So the benefit of you pre-selling it is it helps you build that rapport with your clients and it puts more money in your pocket and it really makes them feel comfortable like you know what you're talking about by recommending these top selling activities. The three things I recommend at a minimum is the pre-cruise tour, which the pre-cruise tour actually will depart from the pre-cruise hotel, do the activity, and then typically will end at the vessel for embarkation. So it's very convenient. If they don't want to just do that, they can also do the post-cruise tour. And there's an option for the post-cruise tour that also comes with the airport transfer. So it literally does the tour and drops them off of the airport so they can fly home and all their luggage is with them that entire tour. So those are the three basics I recommend. Now, for resources, I want to make sure you know where to find the most accurate information about all of the shore excursions. And the consumer website does have some of this information. You would actually go into the itinerary and you would click on the actual day at the bottom of the screen. And then there would be a pop up that kind of shows you what's included and what's a premium and those can be expanded but to be quite honest with you I want to make sure you have the best resources so I say skip the consumer site and go directly to reservemyexcursions.com because this is our shore excursions website so I recommend that you bookmark this save this URL so that way you can easily get there so reservemyexcursions.com is where you have to go uh, to pre-sell the activities and I'm going to walk you through some important steps now because what you see on the right hand side of the screen is the home page but I want to point out a few things for you because premium shore excursions are going to be commissionable to you at 10 percent but you must 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 be logged in as a travel advisor and purchase those activities for your clients in order to get the commission on them this website it will not stop you from not logging in right you have to think about this you've got to log in in order to get your commission so keep that in mind the alternative to not logging in is that anybody can go to Reserve My Excursions, pull up an activity and book it, but all they're really doing is pre-booking or reserving it. They're not actually paying for it. And if that happens, you do not get commission on that. So again, remember, you have to log in as a travel advisor here. From there, I want to make sure you know that you can only book premium shore excursions 180 days in advance. So once you hit that mark, it will allow you to go in and actually book them versus just look and see what they are. The other thing is that your sign-on for ReserveMyExcursions.com is different and separate than that for our travel agent oh, portal under agents.aqvoyages.com. <laughs> so again, they're two completely separate websites and you have to register on ReserveMyExcursions.com in order to get your commission. And speaking of commission, we pay this out quarterly uh, after the travel occurs. So again, you see the schedule on your screen there. So uh, essentially January, April, July, and October is when we pay those commissions out. Uh, so again, that's gonna be all the basic information you need to know about the website to get to it. All right, 
Now that you're there, you're going to step number one, you can either log in or register. Let's walk through as if you haven't registered before because I'm going to assume most of you haven't if you're here listening to this. So the registration page has two columns. One is for <laughs> agency information and one is for agent information. The first thing you really should do is search for your agency because I promise you your agency is probably in there like 10 times already if you have a lot of agents <laughs> because people don't take the time to look. So use that gray box and fill it out as you can search for yourself as an existing agency and then once you find it, you can add that information in to you as the agent to that agency or load yourself as a new agency like many people do. So get yourself registered uh, and all you have to do once you fill that out is click the registration button. Then you land back on the Shore Excursions homepage. If you've successfully logged in, that top right hand corner will then change to say log out. But for this example, I've kept it just blank with either log in or register. So step one, log in as a travel advisor. Step two, you're going to click on which vessel it is that your client's sailing on that you want to book activities for. And then once you click that vessel, you're going to get a pop-up that says, are you sure you really want this vessel? And you're going to click, yes, I confirm that this is the ship I want. Now, once you do that, you're going to land on this huge list of all of the voyages on this particular vessel. So once you find the one you want, so step four is to click on see details for that particular itinerary. And once you do that, another very long page will open up and I recommend the first thing you do, so step five is to validate that this is the correct sailing that you've clicked on because there's a lot of lines there. You might click on the wrong date. So make sure you've pulled up the correct one. So in this case, it says, says that there are 17 excursions on this particular voyage and again these are the premium excursions not the included so how do you know what's included let me give you your insider tip here In the top left hand side of the screen there is a print page button if you click that it'll take about 30 seconds to download and you will have a PDF of everything on this itinerary or this voyage that's included as well as premium and that included section also covers the specifics of the hop on hop off if it's a US rivers if it's lakes and ocean it'll tell you the traditional details so again where all the inclusions are that will be covered so that's your that's your insider tip as you scroll through this list of activities make sure you focus on the key things that are highlighted on your screen and I know there's a lot of them but What's the date of this excursion, especially if you're trying to plan out somebody's week, right? Make sure you got the right date. What's the name of the tour? How much is it? But most importantly at the bottom, pay attention to the port because there are some ports where we have multiple activities. So as you're scrolling down through that list, make sure you catch the port. The other important thing is the duration. When is that tour actually operating? So if they're in port only a half day, does that mean this particular tour is that entire time? So they'd have to forego the included hop on hop off tour and only do the premium or are they there a full day and can do both? So again, use the tools that are here for you to determine what's best for your client. The other thing to figure out what's best for your client is that activity level. We have between one and four people walker symbols to indicate whether it's easy or a bit more uh, challenging in its mobility. So make sure you get your clients on the right thing. All right, after you go through the excursions and you continue down that list, you'll notice on the left-hand side under the photo of that activity, there will be a ready to book hyperlink. And if you click that, it'll bring you into the next step. But while we're on this particular example, I want to also point out that this one happens to have a video associated with it. So some of our attractions and activities now, uh, we have a video of what that activity is. So if that helps you sell, turn your monitor around and show it to your client, right? Okay. Let's say you are ready to book. If you clicked underneath the photo, awesome. If you missed it, at the top and bottom of the page is another ready to book hyperlink. And once you click that, it will bring you into the guest information. Now, 
This is pretty simple because the way this system was set up was, again, you don't have to be logged in as an agent, uh, but we know that you are because that's you're going to want to earn commission, right? And the reason I'm telling you this is because obviously you can see it's asking for your guest names, uh, but it also asks for the cabin number. If you don't have that cabin number with you, maybe you're on your own vacation and a client calls you and says, oh, I forgot to book that tour. You can leave the cabin number blank. That's okay. Just put their names in. You've already got the sailing. We'll figure it out on the back end and just click next. Then it brings you back to what looks like the exact same page, but now instead of ready to book under the photo, it actually has the individual traveler name. So if they want to go one person on this activity, one person on that, you can check the box for who wants to do what, or if they all want to do the same activity, you can click on book all guests and it'll check the boxes for all of those guests. The tour recap page will actually cover all of your agency information, your guest information, and the excursion. So this is a little bit of a different example on the screen here, but the excursion information will be in red in the center, and then you'll have to agree to the terms and conditions. Cancellation info is here as well. So you, again, you can cancel premium tours 36 hours prior to the tour commencing. And then uh, the tickets. The tickets will actually be given to your clients either at our hospitality desk check-in at the hotel or they'll be waiting for them in their stateroom upon arrival. So that's how they'll get the tickets. So once you click confirm, it brings you to a payment screen. You put all the payment information in and then you get a confirmation. Now that Confirmation gives you kind of a recap of everything and the commission will be listed in here as well. So again, 10% commission on anything you sell. And then the confirmation email, there's an agent version and then a guest version. So you've got your commission information on the agent one, the client friendly version is the guest version email that you'll get as well. Okay, now let's talk about city stay packages because City stay packages do show up on the Reserve My Excursions website. It's really kind of just informational because the city stay packages are actually booked as part of your cruise reservation. So it's kind of like we're doing some cross selling there. And again, these are commissionable and definitely a higher ticket item. So you want to make sure that you earn your money on these. Now, there's different package types and depending on what your client is doing and where they are traveling may depend on the type of city stay package available. So there are independent packages, which is where we traditionally give guests a bunch of vouchers and then they use that to kind of create their own vacation at their own pace. And then we also have hosted where there's a host who will maybe meet and greet them or escort them to dinner or escort them to a certain activity. And then there are traditional tours, I'm sorry, escorted tours, where we actually have a tour guide with them the entire time. So that is more like a traditional escorted tour. So independent, hosted, and escorted. All three of them also have the local services of an American Queen Voyages City Stay Concierge available to them at the hotel throughout the, the trip. Now, when I say at the hotel, let's talk about this because one of the inclusions of this city stay package is an extended stay. So what happens is, is think about that one pre-cruise hotel night just falling off. We take that off and we're just adding in the city stay package. So however many nights that city stay package is, that is what they will receive. And it's between two and five nights depending on where they are. The big thing about the city stay packages is that this includes the airport transfer, there's a bunch of meals and a lot of activities and tours that only the guests who purchase the city stay package receive. And we are currently making a ton of enhancements and changes to this process and these packages. So you're going to learn about a lot more as we move forward uh, and as we launch new destinations and so forth. So let's talk about destinations. The independent packages are really the most popular ones because that is traditionally where you can do Memphis and New Orleans and that is available both pre and post cruise. Post cruise we have this in Chicago, we have it in Nashville and right now in 2022 for Nashville it's only post cruise but in Love 23 it will turn into pre and sure post cruise and then Portland Oregon as well as Toronto. From an escorted tour standpoint we have this for our Spokane 
pre-stay for 2022, but in 23, it'll be available both pre and post. Spokane is part of our Pacific Northwest cruise experience, and this is really a Glacier National Park in Montana experience. So it's more of an escorted tour with a guide the entire time. Uh, so that's a really cool three-night package. And then our hosted, and I'm sorry, let me back up for a second. Escorted also includes our Canadian Rockies by Rail Tour, which is where we've partnered with Rocky Mountaineer. So I'll tell you more about that in a second. And then our hosted tour is where we only have that available for the pre-cruise when we have the mighty Mississippi voyage. So that's that 15-day journey from Red Wing all the way down to New Orleans. Okay, there are some new destinations coming, so I kind of want to tease you with that. So everything on your screen is something in the works. We have a lot more than this in the works as well, but just know that we are growing the City Stay Package option so you have plenty to add on for your clients. Let's talk about the independent city stay first. And I really want to walk you through the pre and post, and I'm going to give you all of the inclusions of every one of these. So the Memphis City, city Stay Package includes the airport transfer. It's also two nights at the Peabody Hotel where they have the famous uh, duck parade. And actually, after the duck parade takes place, their tour guide meets them in the hotel lobby. And then they have an exclusive guided walking tour of Beale Street. They have lunch uh, at Blue City Cafe. And then we give them admission vouchers to Sun Studios, as well as the Rock and Soul Museum and the National Civil Rights Museum. Plus, we give them the three-day trolley pass to get around town. The only thing you need to know on that one is Sun Studio is not close to any trolley stop, so they would need to take a taxi or Uber over to get to Sun Studios and use their voucher on that. Speaking of vouchers, vouchers are like cash money. So when we give them a voucher, they have to use that in order to have admission, uh, and that's how we get paid, right? So make sure they use their vouchers. And then all the city state packages traditionally come with the premium tour. So if they're doing this pre or post cruise in Memphis, they're going to get the Elvis experience tour and then they'll be dropped off at the boat for embarkation or they'll be dropped off at the airport if it was for post cruise. For the, um, the New Orleans city state package, very similar airport transfer, two nights at the Intercontinental Hotel, right at the heart of the French Quarter, uh, daily breakfast, that's included with every city stay package, and then they also get brunch at a court of two sisters, and then we give them the top attraction pass to the top sites within New Orleans, including the World War II Museum and the Mardi Gras Museum, and starting in September of this year, we're also adding in a New Orleans walking tour, so plenty of options, and they also get the three-day streetcar jazzy pass so they can get around town. And then they get the premium New Orleans city tour, uh, which includes uh, the park and all sorts of great sites along New Orleans just outside of the French Quarter as well. Because there's so much more to see in New Orleans besides the French Quarter. Okay. Independent packages post-cruise only. Uh, in Chicago, we have a two-night stay at the Sheraton Grand Chicago. Comes with daily breakfast. This also includes the Chicago Architectural Tour, uh, which includes a lunch. And then we have a ride on Centennial Wheel at Navy Pier. So that's everything that they get, plus they get the premium Chicago Highlights Tour, which hits Adler Planetarium, and they can go take pictures in front of the Bean. Uh, so it's kind of your, your basic city stay package in Chicago. Very similar to that, we have Nashville. However, this one is focused around the Grand Ole Opry. So two nights at the Gaylord Opry Resort. They have daily breakfast. They get admission to a show at the Grand Ole Opry, and they have the backstage tour of, of uh, the Grand Ole Opry as well. And then they'll get the Nashville Music City USA Tour, which is our premium tour, which includes uh, the Country Music Hall of Fame. Okay, outside of that, there's another one for Portland. Portland is a two-night stay at the Hilton Portland downtown. This includes a guided walking tour of downtown Portland area. And then the premium shore excursions is our visit to Mount St. Helens. And then there's a Portland city tour included as well. That's actually a pretty full day tour. It's an awesome tour. You even get to go to the Rose Test Garden along the way. And then in Toronto, also similar, two nights. As you can see, all of these independent packages are more two-night stays. That's at the Toronto Marriott, and they will have a guided islands tour, the Toronto Islands tour, and then they'll have the premium tour, which is the Toronto City Highlights, which hits Bercy Park and the Distillery District, uh, and those are pretty much your independent packages. 
The hosted package, which is again only pre-cruise for the headwaters of the Mississippi, and this is only for the mighty Mississippi journey between Red Wing and New Orleans, and it's available on all three of the vessels that do that voyage. So this one is a little bit more unique. Let me walk you through this hosted process. You have uh, an arrival into Minneapolis, and they will take the hotel transfer uh, to the Radisson Blue Mall of America, which is where they will meet their host. And then the host will get them on the transfer, which takes them up to St. Cloud, which is where they're going to spend two nights at the Kelly Inn. And then they will have a guided tour of Itasca State Park, which is where the headwaters of the Mississippi is, which you can see in this photo. So they actually can put their toes in the water and walk along the confluence of the mighty Mississippi. Uh, there's a boat ride on the Chester Charles II of Lake Itasca. There is lunch at the historic Douglas Lodge. And then they do get a dinner included as well as the premium tour uh, before they get on the vessel itself. Lastly is our escorted city stay, pa or escorted city stay packages. These are offered pre and post cruise. Remember in the beginning I said the Glacier National Park this year for 22 is only pre cruise, but next year it will become pre and post cruise. This is very different than what we've been talking about thus far. What happens here is guests will then fly into Kalispell, Montana, essentially, and that's uh, airport code FCA, in case you're not sure, and we'll give you all that information when it comes time to book. But they're going to spend two nights at Grouse Mountain Lodge, and then they will go to Glacier National Park, and they will get on the historic Red Jammers. They'll do a tour of the park. We'll also get them out on St. Mary Lake, where they have a lunch on board the vessel itself. And then after that second night, the next day they'll begin traveling to Spokane, but obviously you've got to travel through the great gem state of Idaho. So we stop in Wallace, Idaho for lunch. We visit the Crystal Gold Mine, the Cataldo Mission, uh, and then we drive past Lake Quarter Lane. We get to Spokane and we have one night at the Davenport Hotel. And that's where all the guests have their pre-cruise night, the historic Davenport Hotel. And then the next day they take the transfer down for embarkation. So that is the escorted tour with a guide the entire time. The next one is the Canadian Rockies by rail. And this is where we have partnered with Rocky Mountaineer. So if it is pre-cruise, it's actually a five-night package. If it's post-cruise, it's four nights. And this is incredible, folks. I'm, I'm sure as a seasoned travel agent, you're probably familiar with Rocky Mountaineer. So I won't spend too much time talking about it. Plus, it's on your screen, so you can always take a screenshot. But airport transfer, there are on um, the pre-cruise portion, there are two nights hotel, so Calgary and then Banff, before you even get on the train. And then it's two days of train service with gold leaf service. That's their upper echelon of service on board with their uh, glass-domed rail cars, all meals, all alcohol, all gratuities. So again, a high ticket item for you guys to get your clients booked on as part of our expedition cruises. All right, let me wrap up with the Shore Excursions phone number because if you have questions specifically about Shore Excursions, you should contact our Shore Excursions department directly. But remember, if you call them, don't book through them because you won't get commission. You have to log in as a travel advisor in order to get that commission. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up this module. Thanks for listening and good luck on the quiz. All right, guys. So again, thank you for hanging in there with me. Um, as I said, we have done the Rocky Mountaineer. It's in here and it's also right down here. I think it is on my list here. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, maybe down here, Rocky Mountaineer. I know it's in, right here. Rocky Mountaineer, Attractions and Entertainment. Check that out. It's amazing. It's definitely great. Yeah, this is a long course. Um, sometimes we cut it off, but since she's reading it, I figured let's do it. You guys, like I said, can be doing other things, but let's get her done. Um, it looks like only one other long, long um, one for 37 minutes. The other ones are kind of short. So let's get them done. Again, if you need to get off, I understand, um, but definitely get in and finish it if you can. All right, let's take this test. 
do, do, do. So yeah, I was talking with Rick. We we're going to go do laundry because we're in an RV right now. As I said, we're moving back to Vegas. We're staying in an RV while we're opening up a business here in Nebraska. Um, Linda's staying at my house, watching my animals and staying with my daughter. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to go do laundry and buy a Powerball ticket. <laughs> You never know, right? All right. In order to earn 10% commission for booking premium shore excursions, age, agents can book tours directly via which method? Uh, directly on the travel agent portal of agents, aqvoyages.com, calling into the shore excursion department, or directly on the travel agent portal of reserve my excursions. So to earn the 10% for booking premium shore excursions, where do you do it? I would say the travel agent portal. Nope. Nope. That reserve my excursions. Remember, we had to right. go into that whole separate. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Directly on the travel agent portal of directly on the travel of agent. Oh, duh. Okay. Sorry. It's travel agent portal of the reserve my excursions. I just didn't read all the way. Okay, got it's it, a guys. Trick question. <laughs> exactly. I just read the first travel agent portal. Blah. All right, got that. It's review reserve my excursions. Okay, to earn that ten percent. And again, you always want to upsell, guys. Get those excursions. Get those before and after. You know, stays on the. Sh you know, before they get on the ship. Because again. Guys, you don't want to bring people in the day of the sailing because what happens if the flights go on, you know, the they they you know cancel their flight or there's a delay or or they go on um what do you call it strike, you know, then what your people are stuck. So I always recommend bring them in a day or two early, let them experience the city that they're sailing out of. Um, I always bring up like Ensenada, bring them into San Diego, get them a cute little boutique hotel downtown, you know, get them tickets to a game or something. All right. Commission for premium shore excursions are paid in um, are paid in what time frame? So 30 days after tour commences, monthly after tour commences, quarterly after tour commences. Is it 30 days? No, that one was quarterly. It is quarterly. Yeah, the excursions are quarterly. The rest of the stuff is normal. That's kind of crazy, huh? It is. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I was making my soup. <laughs> I admit it, okay? I, I slacked off for a minute. <laughs> the pickles were doing it. All right, next question. Da, 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 da. Rick went and take, took Aries for a walk. Hey, come on. You know, we'd get done a lot quicker if this was faster. All right, true or false, guests need to obtain their hop-on, hop-off boarding pass for the rush hour departure times of the hop-on, hop-off tours. What can I say true? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to type it in the chat box as you were asking. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so that's true. They need to obtain their boarding pass for rush hour because, again, you don't want them stuck and not being able to get on, especially during rush hour. Uh, 
on reserve to register, do we still list all the information for Archer on the left side? Um, I would probably say yes if it's asking for agency, because again, remember, you're working under their licensing, their IATA number, okay? So again, yeah, I would recommend that. All right, guests can cancel their premium shore excursions up to what time frame before the tour commences and still receive a refund? Was it the 36 hours? Yes. Okay, 36 hours, guys. And last but not least, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is a long one. So we have a 37 minute, 12 minute, 14 minute. But let's just get her done. Get your certificate. Another one off your checklist, right? And then start marketing. Again, that um uh you know, baby boomers, they've got the money, they've got the time, especially if you can do a group tour for them. Wow, you'd be making Luke, 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 Bucks, Luke, Bucks. <laughs> All right. Pre selling your clients premium tours helps to build rapport and ensures. They do not have to wait list for tours if they book on board. That's true, right? Because again, you want to get everything set and, and you know paid for and everything. So because again, if they wait, what's going to happen? They're going to lose out, right? They're going to get full. All or, right. Or get wait listed, but that's or true. Or get wait yes. listed, yes. All right, complete. Let's do it. So the next one's 37 minutes, and then it looks like the next ones are kind of a, so another hour. <laughs> People are going to look at my YouTube and say, what the heck? I'm not doing that one. <laughs> but look at you 22 people that stuck with us so far. Hi, how was it outside? Is it cold out? Huh? All right, five out of five. All right. Next, we're doing the rivers. This one's a half hour long, guys. So let's just get through this one, then the two short ones, and then we're done. Here we go. Welcome to module six on our U.S. River Cruise experiences. You know, the one thing about U.S. River Cruising is that it really is about feeling the rhythm of the rivers. When that paddle wheel moves and it churns, those bucket boards hit the water and the spray comes off of it. And when the sun hits that spray just right, there's a beautiful rainbow that projects out. And it really provides our guests on board with this great sense of nostalgia. It's kind of like Mark Twain's Mississippi going by at seven miles an hour. And that's exactly what you're selling, is a bit of America's historical power. Past. The U.S. paddle wheelers are not only the vessels that were designed to sail on America's rivers, but it's what your clients are expecting to see. So why wouldn't you sell the most authentic cruise product out there for U.S. rivers? In addition to that, our paddle wheelers are U.S. built, U.S. flagged, and have an all-American crew. Now, this module is going to actually walk you through our product by way of just a couple of overview slides on destinations, and then we're going to look at each of the paddle wheelers, so that way you can see the unique attributes of each one of them. So let's start off with the Pacific Northwest, which is all about the dramatic scenery of the Columbia River Gorge and following in the footsteps of Lewis and Clark as they went west in 1805. Now, the itinerary has the same ports of call no matter which direction your clients sail in. Whether it's eastbound or westbound, doesn't matter. They're going to see the same destinations. 
The only thing that makes a difference is where do they want to spend their pre-cruise hotel night? So do they want to fly into Portland and spend the night in Vancouver, or would they like to fly into Spokane and spend the night at the historic Davenport Hotel before making that roughly 90-minute transfer down to Clarkston and sailing west? Now, as you look at the map on the screen, I want to point something out to you. There are several lines across the Columbia and Snake River, and those lines or slashes are indicative of the locks that we traverse through. So a lot of people don't realize it, but our vessels are going to have to go through a series of locks. And one of them, the John Day Lock, is actually the only guillotine-style dam and lock in the Western Hemisphere. So she's very unique. So again, this is all about the history of Lewis and Clark. Uh, it's all about the dramatic scenery of the Columbia River Gorge. The other destinations, as we move into the heartland of America, uh, we have the lower Mississippi, which is probably 90% of the time what you are selling to your clients, especially as a first time river cruiser. That lower Mississippi River is definitely the quintessential muddy Mississippi. You've even got some cargo traffic on it because the cargo freighters can actually get all the way up to Baton Rouge. But the lower Mississippi is about the Southern charm and hospitality. It's also about our Civil War battlefields and all of the history that's here. Plus, you have really the heart of the Delta Gospel and the blues. So if you have someone who is musically inclined, this is a great itinerary to get them on as well. Now, as you move north of the Lower Mississippi River, so really north of Memphis, you're going to start to make your way into you know, kind of a, a middle Mississippi area, but then really the upper Mississippi is from St. Louis all the way up to Red Wing. And Red Wing is our gateway to Minneapolis. So the upper Mississippi River is a little bit more scenic, and I'd say you'd even see some bald eagles flying by. There's some really quaint, charming towns along the waterfront, and there's some big cities here too. There's also some pretty iconic places like Hannibal, Missouri, which is known for uh, Mark Twain's boyhood home. So if people wanted to really kind of recreate that Huckleberry Finn tale and kind of walk in uh, Mark Twain's footsteps, they can do that here on the upper Mississippi. So definitely more scenic on the upper portion. You can also combine the upper and the lower Mississippi to create a mighty Mississippi voyage for your clients. And that traditionally happens about once a year on each vessel that sails in this area. And that's about a 15 day voyage. Then you have this huge other area that you can sell to your clients that we like to kind of you know, put together as the tributaries. This really is made up of the Ohio River, the Tennessee, the Cumberland, and even the Illinois River. Now, the Illinois River, we have typically two voyages a year that head out to Ottawa, which is our gateway to Chicago, but the predominant amount of time, we're sailing on the Ohio River. So guests can fly into Pittsburgh and make their way down to Louisville or even uh, do a, a shorter version of that or even longer. They can combine two as a back-to-back -back and go Pittsburgh to Louisville Louisville and even Louisville all the way down to Memphis. So when people are on the Ohio River, it's more than just that traditional Kentucky bourbon trail. It is also, you know, really scenic because they are sailing through the Appalachian Mountains. And then on the Cumberland and the Tennessee River, again, beautiful, beautiful scenery that we're sailing through and very small, charming towns along the waterfront. Uh, and then you've got some big cities too. So if somebody was a music lover and they like the country of Nashville and the blues of Memphis, you can actually do a River along the Cumberland that will incorporate both of those destinations. So there are plenty of possibilities along the tributaries. Okay, let's now go through the vessels and I'm going to walk you through all four of them and show you the public spaces as well as the stateroom categories and give you some insider tips. So we'll start off with our flagship, which is the American Queen, and she is the largest paddle wheeler ever built. Uh, in fact, she is out of our entire fleet. They're all paddle wheelers, but the Queen is actually a steamship. Her engine was actually once the engine of the old Dredge Kennedy that was sunk in the Mississippi River. And about 25 years ago, they brought her back to life, placed her into the Queen, and she's been sailing ever since. So again, the, the fact that we have an authentic steamboat as part of our paddle wheel fleet is truly iconic. Now, 
In addition to being our flagship, she is our largest vessel that holds over 400 guests on board, and she stands six decks high. So she definitely has a lot of space and a lot of public spaces too. But because she's steam powered, she also has an authentic steam calliope. So whenever we sail away from port, we have someone that comes up and plays the calliope, and you can hear those beautiful notes coming out of those steam pipes. And we even give guests a chance to kind of play those notes as well and earn certificate to say they've learned how to play the calliope. From a public space standpoint, this is really where the nostalgia of yesteryear comes in. So if you have somebody who really wants that quintessential Mark Twain's Mississippi feel of the steamboat heyday in the late 1800s, this is a perfect fit for them. The American Queen has some rich mahogany furniture and settings. So you can see from our second story lobby and grand staircase looking down towards the bottom level where one of our bars are. But again, looking back up, we even have fresco ceilings. It's just a really warm and inviting atmosphere. The JM White dining room is actually modeled after the JM White steamship of the late 1800s with these 20 foot tall ceilings on each side. So it just kind of has this sense of opulence to it. And then we also have as our alternative dining restaurant, the Front Porch Cafe, which is certainly more of a casual dining atmosphere. Uh, there's also a full service bar up here. So you can see there's tables inside the cafe, but then outside there is plenty of seating. So if the weather's just right, they can certainly dine al fresco and even enjoy some of those swing chairs that we have hanging from the front porch. Now, we also have a river grill and bar. Now the grill itself is kind of a seasonal opportunity where we do small bites, maybe things typically like hot dogs and so forth. And there's a bar up here as well, but this is also where the calliope is played. So people want to come up here, especially as we sail away. There's also an engine room bar, and this is kind of the lively night spot after our shows because the engine room bar is where all the live music is played. There's a great big dance floor in here, and some great libations can be had at our engine room bar itself. But uh, there's also access to something secret I'm going to tell you about from that engine room bar in just a moment. So speaking of bars, we also have the captain's bar and lounge. So this was at the bottom of that beautiful staircase I showed you earlier. So again, guests can enjoy those libations while they listen to the piano playing. And then here's a look at our grand saloon. Our grand saloon is where all the entertainment takes place, our lectures and presentations. If you are selling a group on the American Queen, all of those tables and chairs can be moved out of the way and you have a giant dance floor. Uh, and for our guests who are staying in suite level accommodations, all of those upper booths around that uh, theater are reserved for our guests who stay in suite level of accommodations. The, the theater itself was actually modeled after the Ford Theater in Washington, D.C., so there's a great fun nostalgia about it as well, but that's where all our shows take place. The rest of the public spaces on board, again, have kind of that very warm and inviting feel with that nostalgia of yesteryear, including the Mark Twain Gallery, as well as our ladies' parlor, which, don't worry, there's no one stopping any gentlemen from coming in, but the gentlemen have their own space, too, if they want it, and that's the gentlemen's card room. And everybody is welcome up into the chart house. The chart house or the chart room is essentially where our River Lorian likes to hang out. And this is where you can see maps of all of the rivers that we're transiting through. And they'll tell you all of the, the river lore that takes place here. So the chart room is another great vantage point at the forward section of the vessel. So you can kind of look out and see where we're traveling to. Now, out of all of our paddle wheelers, the American Queen has the largest emporium or gift shop out of any of our vessels. So if people want to have any logo wear or sundries, they can certainly purchase that here on the Queen in the Emporium. There is also a spa treatment room on board. And I say spa treatment room because on our paddle wheelers, the spa treatment rooms are traditionally limited to um, spa services specifically, like facials, as well as massage. It's not hair and nails. So again, it's really a spa treatment room. And those services can be arranged once they're on board. From a uh, fitness and wellness standpoint, we'll move up to the top deck, deck six, where we do have a small pool that guests can certainly partake in. I know when I've been on the lower Mississippi River and even the upper Mississippi River, especially during summertime, it gets warm. So it's nice to have that pool there. And then we do have a fitness center just beyond that pool area that guests are welcome to utilize as well. 
Now, remember when I was talking about the engine room bar earlier? There is a door in that engine room bar that leads down a staircase. So guests will have to be mobile enough to get down the stairs because there's no elevator there. But this actually takes you into the engine room. And there's a viewing platform that guests can come meet with an engineer. And they'll see someone oiling the gears of those pistons, that churn. And they oil those gears about every 20 minutes. So when we talk about the authenticity, this this is what we're talking about here. So let's talk about the staterooms on the Queen because the one thing I want to make sure you're aware of is that this vessel, which is our largest vessel in our flagship, she really has more of an open veranda concept. So as you can see from this photo, you see all these uh, chairs and tables sitting outside these double French doors. And those are the entrances to the majority of those staterooms. There are a few categories that have private balconies or private verandas, but the majority of the vessel looks like this with that open veranda concept. I like to tell guests that it has a great sense of community so they can get to know their fellow travelers. Now, as we look at the deck plan, I want to point out a few key components for you, and that is the staterooms that have the true private verandas. So as you can see here, we are really looking at uh, the category OS, which is the owner suite, and there are two of those up on uh, deck five. And then in addition to that, we have all of the uh, category A's, which you see in those blue spaces up and down deck three. And then there are two luxury suites uh, that happen to have a private balcony, and that is back on deck three aft. There's actually a total of six luxury suites, but four of them do not have private balconies, which is why I wanna call attention to them here now. So those are your private veranda staterooms. In addition to that, the next category I want to cover is going to be your quad occupancy. So those remaining luxury suites up on deck five are the ones that do have quad occupancy. And these ones have been renovated recently in more of a contemporary style decor. From there, we do have some connecting staterooms. And so what we did a couple years ago is we converted these category B inside staterooms from being a regular double, double occupancy uh, to actually being a single deluxe. So you've got single deluxe staterooms on the inside, and those connect with a category B stateroom on the outside. So if you have someone who needs to make sure perhaps grandma has her single stateroom and the rest of the family has a category B, those are great options for them there. And in addition to that, there is one fully accessible stateroom with a roll-in shower, and that is in category E, uh, as it's highlighted on your screen here on deck three. Now, there are other cabins that are wheelchair friendly, which we discussed in the introductory course, but again, the one that is truly accessible is here on your screen now. Lastly, I want to mention the stateroom that's kind of like an insider tip. So when you are selling certain staterooms, like this category C I've pointed out on deck two now, you'll notice that those two staterooms are technically on their own. So a lot of people feel like that it has its own private veranda, but it's not private. We certainly can't make it private, but because it's the only thing out on that deck area, uh, it has that feel to it. So if you have somebody who is looking for that type of experience, you can certainly sell it to them, but make sure they know it's not a true private veranda. It has kind of an open porch. So let's take a look at some of these staterooms now. Here's the owner suite on the queen. As you can see, she's just under 400 square feet. She has a little bit more of a modern decor to her now. And her exterior area, and I say exterior because her private veranda that she has is almost 700 square feet. Clearly enough space to put some couches out there and additional rocking chairs. Uh, so again, plenty of space for the owner suite, which comes with not only our Commodore services, but our River Butler services as well. Here's a look at the four contemporary luxury suites that we have. Uh, so again, these ones have been renovated in a little bit more of a contemporary style, but this also comes with our Commodore and River Butler services. Moving down from there, we have the Deluxe Suite, which is just about 230 square feet. Moving on from there even further is our Junior Suite, as you can see with those French doors that open up out to that open veranda concept. And then here is our Paddle Wheel Stateroom. So 
Once upon a time, we actually had three aft-facing staterooms over the wheel that had an enclosed balcony. But that wheel definitely churns, right? I talked to you about how it was a fully functioning wheel. So that water was coming up. So what we decided to do was completely enclose it and give it floor-to-ceiling glass windows. So there are three aft-facing, wheel-facing even, paddle wheel staterooms here. Then you also have our category A. So remember how I said there's one category that is all um, private staterooms or private, I should say, verandas. This is it, the category A stateroom. And then you also have the category B. As you can see, the majority of the vessel looks just like this, the category B stateroom. And then here's a look at the category C. So again, those French doors that just kind of open out. Plenty of space still. Um, don't forget, all of the luggage can be stored underneath their beds because the beds are high enough that they can certainly accommodate the luggage underneath. And here's a category D stateroom with the bay window. And then here's a look at the inside stateroom, which is a category E, as well as the single deluxe. Now, I will show you a picture of the stateroom facilities. I think this is important to make sure you see that on the queen, the facilities in each stateroom is more of a hotel style uh, that has either a, a shower tub combo or a standalone shower on its own. Okay, let's switch gears now and go from our biggest paddle wheeler to our most intimate boutique sized paddle wheeler, which is the American Duchess. And she had her inaugural sailing season back in, I think it was 2018 that we had this. Uh, and she really is like a floating boutique hotel with a paddle wheel stuck on her aft side. So 166 guests on board, and she is just completely unique. The reason she's unique is because when we acquired this vessel, she was actually an old gaming casino vessel. And what we did is we brought her into the shipyard and we completely tore down the entire structure to the hull. And then we rebuilt that superstructure to our specifications and we knew we wanted to do something very special with her. So uh, in our grand lobby and bar area, we have 32 foot tall ceilings. So beautifully decorated. You can see this definitely has a more contemporary flair to it than the queen does. So crystal chandeliers and glass blown art, just very uh, welcoming and inviting, I would say across the board. Now, the Grand Lobby and Bar uh, is situated right in front of the Grand Dining Room. Again, this also has 20-foot high saw ceilings on each side, but it has that more contemporary feel to it. And our alternative dining restaurant is the River Club and Terrace, uh, which is open for breakfast and lunch, and there are made-to-order stations here. You can see there's a, a chef's window up in the corner, so if they want a burger for lunch, they can get that as well. If they want a made-to-order omelet in the morning, that's an option too. Uh, so the River Club and Terrace is a great hangout spot uh, outside so guests can really look over that wheel and see the scenery sailing by. So I love this aft picture because you're really kind of getting that drone footage look where you can see the river club and terrace area, but you also get a glimpse into the staterooms uh, right above it. So you can see that that view from that top deck is kind of staggered down over the wheel. So great views from that upper deck too. Okay, this vessel also has kind of a cafe. We call it Perks. This is where people can go throughout the day and get some fresh juice or coffee. They can make themselves their own cappuccino or espresso. And we also have pastries in the morning here and fresh cookies in the afternoon. And everyone's favorite is the self-serve ice cream. So that is where the self-serve ice cream station is on all of our vessels. It's typically in the casual dining area uh, or Perks itself. So I uh, here's a look at the theater. Now the theater on the Duchess, as you look at those seats beyond the floor, which is a great dance floor area, by the way, when we have our sock hops on our 50s nights, but the theater seats are actually ramped up to the top. So if somebody had mobility issues, they don't need to worry about any steps here in this particular theater. Now, after our evening shows, the entertainers go upstairs to the Lincoln Library. They like to hang out here in the evening and put on some live music, and there's a bar here as well. However, during the day, this is where we could be playing bingo or other games and trivia along our entire cruise. And then I want you to just kind of get a glimpse also of the reception area. So 
You can see in that center of the screen, you've got two desks. One is our purser's desk, one is our shore excursions desk, and the other station just outside shore excursions, you can see it right there, is that shore excursions kiosk that we talked about in our chapter on our shore excursions program. There's also a beautiful walkway that heads to the Grand Lobby and Bar. This is the Art Walk, as it's been labeled, and there's beautiful uh, recreations of some famous paintings along the wall here. And there's also a fitness center on board. So if guests wanted to stay a bit more active, they're certainly welcome to use the cardio and the weights that are in here. Okay, lastly, up on deck six, we have, I'm sorry, deck four, I should say, not six. Six is the queen, four is the duchess. So deck four uh, is going to be the sun deck where we have a wonderful walking track. And as you can see, there is also covered seating for our guests. So as we cruise by, they can enjoy the vitamin D or they can choose to be in the shade. From a stateroom standpoint, this is the part that I love about the Duchess because she has some really unique categories. So let me just kind of break it down to you. On the Duchess, there are three owner suites, which are quad occupancy. The other quad occupancy staterooms are the four luxury, uh, I'm sorry, not luxury, four loft suites. I gotta make sure I know which vessel I'm talking about, right? So the four loft suites are also quad occupancy. And then there are two deluxe suites, and those are also a quad occupancy. So I've highlighted them on the screen for you as we've gone through them. But in addition to that, if you get a chance to book a veranda stateroom uh, for your clients and 200 or 201 is available, those have extended balconies. Same cost as the other veranda staterooms, but I just want to point that out to you as your insider tip. So if it's available, try and grab it. Otherwise, we do have our accessible stateroom. So there's two of them on the inside, and then there's two of them that are aft over the wheel that have much larger spaces, the full row roll-in roll shower, um, and then there's certainly the pull-down closet, so again, fully accessible on the Duchess there. Let's take a look at some of these staterooms. Here is the owner's suite uh, on the Duchess. It has a separate bedroom from the living area, and the living area also has a half bathroom. So this is one and a half bathrooms in the owner's suite and has a very large uh, private veranda. The stateroom itself is almost 630 square feet, 635 square feet, so plenty of space inside. And there are marble bathrooms in the suites on the Duchess. So here's an example of what that bathroom looks like. And then here's a look at the private veranda for the owner's suite. So as you can see, plenty of space. Now, the loft suite is a very unique category because there is nothing like it on America's rivers. We are the only company to have an upstairs, downstairs quad occupancy with two full bathrooms. So upstairs, there is a marble bathroom, uh, and downstairs, there's a more contemporary bathroom. But this also comes with our Commodore services and our River Butler services. So again, as you look at these photos, everything that I'm talking about, I want to make sure you have an understanding of what this looks like. So here's the contemporary bathroom that's in that downstairs level. This is also indicative of all the regular staterooms on board as well that are not in the suites. They're more contemporary style. Now we have the deluxe suites. I really love the deluxe suites because it's more of a ranch style to me. It feels like you walk in the living room, you have these great big doors that lead to your bedroom, uh, and it's just very open aired feeling. So the deluxe suite is also with our Commodore services, but it does not have the River Butler services. So just make sure you're aware of that. And it is one and a half bathrooms as well with the marble bathrooms across the board. And then our standard stateroom on board is our veranda stateroom. Uh, if when we originally launched the Duchess, she was kind of a more suites, higher end class of service feel. So we originally started out by saying these were veranda suites, but we have changed that because they really are just veranda staterooms. So we want to make sure that the suites on board are recognized as such. So this is kind of your, your entry level Riverview stateroom. And then we also have our inside staterooms across the board as well. Okay, every stateroom on the Queen, or the Duchess, excuse me, comes with a Keurig and a mini refrigerator. This is a standard amenity in every single room. Now, you'll notice this is the first time I've said that, and that's because on the Queen, only certain categories have it, but on the Duchess, every single category comes with that amenity. 
Let's switch gears now and talk about the Countess. So the Countess is also sailing in the heartland of America, and she is the newest paddle wheeler on America's rivers. Now, what makes the Countess unique is that she was also an old gaming casino vessel, and when we acquired her and put her in the shipyard, we literally cut her in half and split her into two pieces so we could add a middle section and lengthen her, giving us more space on the rivers to accommodate more of your clients. So this is a super easy sell. I'll show you why in a minute with the room categories, but the Countess is kind of a middle-sized feel vessel for us with 245 guests on board. She also has a very contemporary feel to her. So as we go through these public spaces, I want you to notice that same rich mahogany furnishings and warm vibe that's created on the Duchess is carried through here on the Countess. So here's a look at the grand lobby and bar. You'll also notice in the grand dining room, we have large floor to ceiling windows, plenty of seating space for all of our guests, but we do have two dining times here, whereas the Duchess is a single dining time. Uh, so the Duchess, and I should have said that on the other slide, so I'm going to throw it in here now. The Duchess has single seating, so the doors open up and everyone goes in at one time, where all other paddle wheelers have assigned times, early or, or the main dining. So again, here's a look at the main dining room. Here's a look at the River Grill. This is the alternative dining restaurant that's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And again, it has made-to-order stations in the morning and the afternoon. And here's another look at Perks. So just like Perks on the Duchess, this is where you can pour yourself a cappuccino, you can grab some cookies, and my favorite, the self-serve ice cream. So if you want the soft ice cream, it's right there ready for you. Here's a look at the theater. So this one does have kind of a tiered theater seating <laughs> system. So guests would have to step up into each of those levels. And then there are other public spaces on board that are very warm and inviting, like the library, which has beautiful forward-facing views and then you also have the card room so if you want to play chess or checkers or any of the other games in here we certainly have items available for any guests to utilize while they're on board there's also a gift shop on board this one is kind of about the same size as a stateroom itself, so we've actually converted it into a gift shop, whereas the Duchess has a tiny little boutique on board, which is why I didn't show you a picture of that one. Uh, and there is a fitness center here as well. I want to point something out in this photo. Do you notice on the right-hand side that there is a hydration station? So that is what our hydration stations look like. So we give every guest a souvenir refillable metal bottle that they can use and it's touchless. They actually just put their, their mug underneath it and it'll fill their water up and then they're staying hydrated all day long. And then on board the Countess, there is also a spa treatment room too. So the same thing, facials and massage is available on the Countess. And then upstairs, uh, we certainly have the sun deck with plenty of open air seating, some of it being covered as well. So the sun deck can certainly take up their free time as they watch the river go by at seven miles an hour. Okay, stateroom wise, I mentioned earlier, this would be an easy sell for you guys. Unless you're doing an inside stateroom, the only other choice really is do they want a semi-private veranda or do they want a private veranda? So you'll see on deck two is where we have the private verandas. Deck three is where the semi-private verandas are and then there is the sun deck right above that. So again, it's a real easy choice because all of the staterooms are identical in size and layout. The only difference is the accessible ones, and those ones have the true roll-in showers. So you can see there are six of those available, and there's one in every category, inside as well as category B and the category A. So let me show you what these staterooms look like. So here's the category A. Uh, again, this one has your private veranda as you can see pictured here. And yes, those verandas do open up. So if you had two people next to each other and they wanted to make a larger veranda, all of our staterooms do that as well across the entire fleet. And then here's the category B. So you can see the stateroom looks exactly the same as the A, but the difference comes down to the semi-private veranda. So this is a great shot that shows you they have their own dedicated table and chairs that is railed off. And then if they want to just take one more step out, they'll be on that kind of open promenade style deck. And then here's a look at the single outside stateroom because this vessel does have one single occupancy stateroom that is priced accordingly for a solo traveler.
And then here's a look at the inside, just so you can see what that looks like as well. Bathroom facilities, very contemporary and decor. Every single one of them has their own handheld shower head, so that is nice. I think we always love that when we're traveling. And every room on the Countess also comes with a Keurig and a mini refrigerator, so they don't have to worry about anything there. In fact, those Keurigs, we actually stock daily. They're a supply of coffee, but also we have tea that they can utilize in the Keurig as well. Okay, the last vessel that covers our U.S. rivers is the one that sails in the Pacific Northwest, which is the American Empress, and she is our middle-sized vessel that holds 223 guests on board, and she's also a very super easy sell because she's all outside stateroom, so there's no inside cabins here at all. I really like to say that this vessel has more of a gold rush style feel to her because she does have that rich mahogany furnishings, but a cabaret style show lounge. She really looks like yesteryear, but all the modern conveniences of today. So here's the Astoria dining room, which offers breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner, and dinner has two seating times. But here's a look at the River Grill, which is the casual dining atmosphere. So by day, you can have a made-to-order omelet or a burger. You notice that self-serve ice cream station in the right-hand side. <laughs> uh, cookies here throughout the day, too. See, but at nighttime, what we do is we turn now, the huh? tables and we actually turn now. it into more of an elegant <laughs> sit-down dinner uh, where reservations are required and they can make those once they're on board. And we ask guests that to, to dine here no more than twice a week so everybody gets a chance. But if there's an opening, they can certainly add more than twice a week. You'll also notice outside those floor-to-ceiling windows are plenty of additional tables. Well, that's where guests can certainly dine al fresco when the weather is beautiful up here on the Pacific Northwest for our cruises on the Colombian Snake River. I mentioned cabaret-style show lounge, so here's a look at that so you can truly see that she's just really warm and inviting. And there's a bar in the back of the lounge, too. So if somebody wanted to get their own beverage, they could, but we always have bartenders that come out and serve table side, and that's a a prevalent thing on all of our vessels across the fleets. We also have the paddle wheel lounge. To me, this is kind of like an undiscovered secret. So don't wait until the last night to go visit this and make sure you tell your clients to go right away because the evening entertainment in here is some of the best we have in the entire fleet. This paddle wheel lounge um, it really has several locations within the lounge. The picture does not do it justice at all. There's actually a seating area off to one side where there is a TV if somebody wanted to turn it on, couches for guests to come together and chat. Then there is the actual bar itself, and there's plenty of tables to be served table side. And then there's a dance floor in the background area too. So lots of live music in the evening. We do have a small gift shop on board the Empress. So if somebody wanted logo wear, they can certainly get that along with their sundries. And the one thing that I love about the Empress is she's kind of like a floating museum. In fact, every room has an art walk book that has numbers associated with a description of every piece that's featured on every deck throughout the American Empress. And then that's, again, what makes her like a floating museum. So she's super cool in that regard. And there is always plenty of outdoor space. I'm telling you folks, when people are sailing in the Pacific Northwest, they're not staying in their cabins. They're outside. And that's why it's great that every stateroom is an, a river view uh, because people are not staying indoors. They're coming outside. We have rocking chairs all over the place so they can enjoy those beautiful sunsets uh, and just see the Columbia River Gorge. So let's talk about the staterooms for a minute because the Empress does have some stuff that you need to make sure you keep up on. The only triple occupancy staterooms are the luxury suites, and there are two of those. In addition to that, we also have one single occupancy stateroom, uh, and that is obviously going to be priced accordingly for solo travelers. And then the next thing I'll mention is the accessible staterooms. There is one in each of the category Bs and Cs, but you can see they're a little bit more aft on deck three. Those are the ones that feature roll-in showers. And then lastly, I want to make sure that you really pay attention to the bedding because on the Empress, there are certain staterooms that have fixed bedding, meaning it might be two twins and it's affixed to the wall and cannot convert to a queen. 
or it might be a true queen bed that cannot be split into two twins. So make sure you work with our reservation agents to get those correct staterooms for your clients. Here's a look at the luxury suite, which is triple occupancy. As you can see, it's over 400 square feet. But again, with that beautiful, rich furnishings that really makes you feel like you're kind of traveling in the Lewis and Clark era. This is a category A. This is actually one of my favorite staterooms on board. It does have a semi-private veranda. In fact, if you look out the window, you can see that there's two railings, just like I showed you with the Countess. That same concept is here uh, up on deck four with the category A's. Here's a look at the category B. Uh, so again, warm and inviting, over 200 square feet. And then this is kind of your average on board, the category C stateroom. So again, kind of keeping that quintessential yesteryear feel to it, but it has all the modern conveniences. There's USB plugs at and uh, in the ports and so forth, so no issues getting your electronics charged. And here's a look at the category E stateroom, along with the category D, which just has the window views here. Now, the one thing that I want to mention is that on board the Empress, uh, you certainly have stateroom facilities that feel more like your traditional cruise ship uh, stateroom bathrooms. Uh, so you can just kind of keep that in mind. Whereas you saw the other pictures on the Duchess and the Countess, it's definitely more of a contemporary feel. And every stateroom on the American Empress has that mini fridge as well as the Keurig. So those amenities are the same across the board. Okay, that wraps up our module on our U.S. River Cruises. So good luck with the quiz, and we will see you in the next module. Good luck, guys. Woo -woo. All right, let's do it. We're almost done, guys. Only two more short ones, and then whoop, whoop, we got it. We got our certificates. You can tell everybody, I've been on a five-hour tra training. <laughs> I earned it this time, right? All right, let's do this quiz. Got the kitchen cleaned up, got the hot water heating up so I can do the dishes. <laughs> Everybody's walking their dogs, making something to eat, you know. Multitasking, right? That's that's the way to do it. So again, like with Disney, Disney I've done many times because I've done my trainings for all my kids also so they can get their free trips and stuff. So I just turn it on, listen, you know, clean house, do bills, whatever I need to do, and then do the test, right? All right, true or false, majority of the staterooms on the American Queen have an open ver veranda concept. True? True. Very good. That's the what best is? part about them. <laughs> Very nice. I love to be sitting out there on that rocking chair, cup of coffee or, you know, white Russian. Or <laughs> Margaritas. Margarita. I could do that all day. Bloody Mary, <laughs> you know, whatever. No. <laughs> what, whatever the time of the day is will depend on whatever the drink is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, you know, Long Island iced tea. No, I'm just kidding. Those knock you out, huh? I tried, uh, we went yesterday down, I got my haircut, um, went, drove to Omaha, and um, then we went down to the old market, Rick likes, there's a cigar shop and stuff, and so uh, we found a cute little, it's called the Havana Garage, and uh, we sat outside the the weekend before, it's an hour drive for us from here in Lincoln, and, um, but that's kind of like a little, just a little treat for us, and so I got a margarita last time, they're only five bucks, you know, um, or 350 and happy hour and stuff. Anyway, we got a, a honey whiskey thing, and that was pretty good. He was like, I can't even drink this. You know, very smooth, just, just to get him just a little getaway. But anyway, all right, all paddle wheelers are fully functioning and not just there for looks. True, right? That was true. Yeah. Something yep, that sounds see. nummy, Marnie. Yeah, you it might was. have to it bring was... some of that home. That's what I said. Because, <laughs> again, he doesn't drink, you know, and, and uh I do. No, um, I like my wine. Okay. But, uh, but not, not a real hard drinker, but uh, anyway, he's like, he likes the fireball, you know, just, just a little taste once in a while, but, but the honey, what was it? A uh, wild Turkey, I think whiskey or something, but it was on the happy hour special. And it was like, this is really nice and smooth, you know? And, and uh, again, it was just, you know, and again, I'm, I'm sorry for those that don't drink or whatever is there's, but uh, 
but it, it was just nice a little treat. yeah well that's I, I said a thing to my kids now my kids are you know 21 to 35 so you know they're not kids but um okay for guests staying in the suites on the American Queen with Commodore Services where in the Grand Saloon are their reserved seats ding 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 balcony yep. right balcony yep. remember they've got the best seats in the house right all right. Next. Um, ex ex Oops. Excuse me. Go ahead. <laughs> it looks like you guys are on three. I'm only on. So the first one was true and the second one is true. Or did I get one of them wrong? What is the questions? Well, the very first one, I thought you guys were on the first one. And then I thought you guys were on the second one, but you're not. You're one ahead of me. <laughs> right. So what were the questions? Oh, both true, Nicole says. Yep. True, okay. true. <laughs> and then balcony. Yep. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. So anyway, we're going to a cabin for Thanksgiving on a lake in um, Leavenworth, uh, Washington area. Um, uh, like a there's 10 room or something like that, or there's 10 of us going or whatever um, for Thanksgiving. So um, it's going to be a kind of nice little getaway. Like I said earlier at the beginning, I'm going to be doing a training from there. So I'll be sitting out hopefully by the lake with the snow and be able to do training with you guys. So. Um, all right, the American Duchess and Countess have a contemporary feel to them versus the Victorian. I'd say true. 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 All right, so true, true. Um, yes, and true. There is no late lake at Leavenworth. It's like right outside of it, Byron, because we actually rented it um so I, it's it's like right outside of it because that's where he wanted to do it i'll find out where it's at though um because he's he's actually going to be proposing to his girlfriend there so um i don't know if we're going to go into leavenworth to have him propose or if he's going to do it at the cabin on the lake so again it may be like a half hour outside i don't know I keep telling them to send me the information so I can plan. All I know is I'm flying in on Thanksgiving Day to, to uh, Seattle and then getting a rental van or a, a big minivan for all my kids. And they're coming in later that afternoon or evening. So, <laughs> I, yeah, looking forward to uh, kind of just out of the hustle and rustle and just relax with a campfire and a hot tub. All right, true or false, all paddle wheelers are well suited for guest and mobility issues as each one has a role in shower stateroom. Do, 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 do. True. True. Very good. All right, so all of them are true. All right, yes. All right. Let's look and see. I'm going to find out where the cabin is so you guys can let me know. Sugar, settle down. <laughs> Sounds like me. Oops. Okay, where's the cabin again? Can you send me a picture or info on it? How far are we from Leavenworth and from Seattle with it? All right. Last question is true. What is it spinning? Spinning, spinning. All right, so it looks like we have what, two more left, right? Lakes and expeditions. And then probably a final exam. Boy, yes, a long one. My sister, I asked her if they bought lottery tickets. She goes, no, but I'll give you 20. Go get some. <laughs> All right, five out of five. Let's do the lakes and oceans and then expeditions. And then whoop, whoop, you guys can get on with your day. So let's do it. Boom, 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 boom. Module six on our lakes and ocean product. 
So don't forget, our lakes and ocean experience is all about casting off your bow lines and going into destinations that are well beyond the beaten path of big blue water cruise ships. This also means that this is our international product. So all of our vessels are internationally flagged and guests will be required to have a passport. Uh, if they are not a US or Canadian citizen, make sure you check with all the destinations they're traveling to to see if a visa is needed. But you as travel advisors know that anyway. So let's continue on and cover at least the destinations as an overview of where we sail to. And the bread and butter of the itineraries for lakes and ocean is the Great Lakes. So this is done the predominant part of the season, essentially from May through October. And we have itineraries that hit all five of the Great Lakes. In fact, Chicago to Toronto or reverse is our most popular. Uh, we also have a Chicago to Montreal version, and we have a round trip Chicago. So if you have someone looking for a drive market, this is a great opportunity for them to see the Great Lakes. Now, in addition to the Great Lakes, we also have the Canadian and Maritimes and New England. The Maritimes are kind of done as more of a repositioning cruise. There's a handful of times that happens throughout the year, but we do head up the St. Lawrence Seaway. We hit Prince Edward Islands and we hit Nova Scotia, and then we hit some of New England. In fact, we also have a handful of New England cruises between Boston and St. John, New Brunswick. Beyond that, we have some true repositioning cruises along the Atlantic coast that are essentially uh, twice a year, whether we're going north or south, and we will always hit an international port of call, which is why we've got the Bahamas as part of these destinations too. So the Southeast USA cruise is the other itinerary that's probably the bread and butter aside from the Great Lakes. This one is done several times throughout the year, and it is a round trip out of Jacksonville itinerary that hits all the southern charm of the lower states uh, and then they definitely get the big destinations in Florida including Port Canaveral and then we do head out to the Bahamas to hit that international port of call. One of the itineraries that I love and this is very different this one is really more of a soft adventure cruise tour. That's at least what I like to call it because this really is a combination of cruise and land. In fact, probably a little bit more land than cruise. So what happens here is guests fly into Cozumel where they're gonna spend their pre-cruise hotel night and then they will begin sailing around the Yucatan Peninsula. Then they'll be docked for two nights outside of Campeche and every day we'll go in and do land-based experiences completely focused around the Mayan runes and the local culture and then we sail up to Progresso where we spend three nights with the same thing every day going into town doing local cultural experiences when we disembark after the third night in Progresso we get on a luxury motor coach and we travel to Valladolid which as you know is the gateway to Chichen Itza so we put guests up for two nights at the Maya Land Hotel, and that is where they ha then have an included tour of Chichen Itza, so they can see one of the wonders of the world. And there are plenty of premium tours offered along the way throughout this entire itinerary. So this is a little bit more active. So while we say our lakes and ocean is really geared towards some still rest and relaxation, this itinerary particularly is kind of your soft adventure intro. Uh, lots of cobblestone streets and things like that. Clearly does, they don't need to be as active as our expedition cruises, but just be aware of that for the Yucatan Peninsula itinerary. Okay, let's talk about the two ships that sail in this area. Uh, if you've noticed, you listen to my Rivers product, you've already heard me say paddle wheelers and paddle wheel boats, but when we talk about lakes and oceans, we're now shifting over to ships. Uh, sometimes I'll just say vessels interchangeably because you want to make sure you're saying the right thing, right? So if you're not sure or you ever just want to, you know, throw something out there, just don't blunder it. Don't say it's a paddle wheel ship. That's not the case paddle wheel boats, and these are small ship cruises for lakes and oceans. So Ocean Voyager and Ocean Navigator were formally called Victory One and Victory Two. Uh, and so when we acquired Victory Cruise Lines, those were the names, but since our rebrand last year, everything under American Queen Voyages is kind of one fluid experience now. So we changed the name to be Ocean Voyager and Ocean Navigator. These are identical ships. They are identical in 
heights and weight and wheelbase. No, I'm just kidding. That's my Marissa Tomei impression of my cousin Vinny. Uh, they are truly carbon copies, though. Uh, so it is a super easy sell across the board. Exact same public spaces. Let's look at them now. When guests arrive on board, they're going to come here to the Compass Lounge. The Compass Lounge is where they have their passport control, so they're going to turn in their passport here. Uh, it's during the day where all the presentations and the games take place, and at night, it's where our three-piece band performs their nightly entertainment. Now, just beyond the Compass Lounge, you see two curtains on each side, and that leads to our tavern, which is our British pub style feel atmosphere where guests can enjoy all those included libations because remember we're all inclusive so all their alcohol is included as well so the tavern is a great hangout spot in addition to the lounge from a dining standpoint, we have the coastal dining room. This is open style seating, just like on the American Duchess. So when dining time begins at 7 p.m., the doors open and all guests come in at the same time. We do have alternative dining on these vessels, and that is the grill located up on deck four aft, which has beautiful floor to ceiling windows that you can look out and see the scenery. And the grill is also open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, so again, two options, and they're all included. Now, there is a spa treatment room on board. It's a cabin that's been converted. It's a little bit tighter in size, but you can definitely get your massage and facials and hair and nails done here as well. So this one does have the facilities for that. There's also a fitness center on board each of these vessels. So if someone wants to do their cardio or free weights, they can certainly do that here. But I think I'll be upstairs on the top deck soaking up that vitamin D. Uh, we have plenty of open space on vitamin uh, open space on vitamin D, open space on the sun deck, and we also have covered space as well. So again, those are really the public spaces on these two small ships. They're very intimate, as you can tell. So stateroom wise. Let let me cover a couple of different things here. When you look at this deck plan, uh, I want you to notice that all of the staterooms, with the exception of the ones on deck four, uh, deck four have an exterior entrance, because you can see there's kind of a walkable area outside that. I'll show you a photo of that in a few minutes, but everything else is accessed via an interior door. Now, for triple occupancy, the two owner suites do have triple occupancy, but everything else on these two ships are going to be double occupancy. In addition, in addition to the owner's suites, I, I mentioned exterior entrance, right? So deck four is the one that has the exterior door. So what happens is they go upstairs to deck four on the elevator, and then they actually have to open this large door and step out onto that open veranda because it is an open veranda concept, and then they'll enter their stateroom. More photos on that to come in a second. The next deck I want to show you uh, is on deck three. There are two out of the four category A staterooms that have the largest bathrooms on the ship aside from the owner's suite. So there's your insider tip, folks. If you have somebody who wants a larger bathroom, those two aft category A's have a much larger bathroom. Okay, in addition to that, we also have two connecting staterooms. So category C does have only two of them. So if you have people traveling together and they want that door open in between the two staterooms itself, that is definitely a possibility. One thing that I want to point out to you, and this is really important, is on deck two. When you look at that aft section, there's a gray area that goes around those staterooms. It is not an exterior entrance or a veranda. It's actually a kind of a crew storage area for some of the ropes that they use to tie down. Uh, so I will tell you from personal experience, I've stayed in one of these staterooms. You still have wonderful unobstructed views, but when we dock every once in a while, you might see See a crew member out there tying off but other than that I want to make sure you know you enter still from the interior and then there are just large windows okay here's a look at our triple occupancy owner suite this does also have a mini fridge and laundry service is included here here's a look at the interior area but there is a large outdoor seating area in their private veranda you will notice that staircase right there so that actually kind of goes up from our pilot house and it's right back down to some crew area so there might be just a little walk here or there they might see from crew members but otherwise it's completely private and here's a look at the category
Youch. Don't tell me we're losing it now. Are you guys all here? <laughs> it's yes. like after getting this far and it went out. <laughs> no, please. Yeah, you froze for a minute. Glad you're back. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, hold on. Let's do this. One minute left. Come on, we can do it. Otherwise, I'll see if I skip through it. Are you guys, can you guys see my screen and everything good? Yes, you're back, at least for me. Okay, thank you. All right, let's 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 see if it'll let us go to the quiz and see. All right, I'm going to go to the quiz. Another broadcast drive. Jackson. Wow. All right, let's try it. It's like, please, let's get through this. <laughs> We've gotten this far. All right. Ocean Voyager and Ocean Navigator have different deck plans and cabin categories. False. False. They're the same. Yep. Next. All right, so you got that, guys? Do, 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 do. It's like I'm not touching my phone. I'm not touching anything. Let's get through this. <laughs> I don't know where my roommate went. He was supposed to take care of the phone calls. Where are you? Let me know when your guys' pops up. Cleaner just called. Why? Not yet, but uh, one of the cleaning people just called. I didn't know. It just said from um, arthritis relief, so I had to answer it, and then it kicked me off my training. So what do you mean cleaning people? One of the people called me on the cleaning, and I didn't know. I just seen it was oh. the arthritis people calling. All right, what is the seating type offered at the coastal dining room for dinner? Assigned times, but no assigned tables. Open seating, sit where you like. Assigned times with assigned tables. Is it open seating anywhere? It's the first. Assigned times, but no assigned tables. Okay. It's... Thank you. The first yeah. one. I have the hot water on too, because I figured I'll do the dishes before we go. All right. Do, do, do. So if you haven't answered it yet, it's assigned times, but no assigned tables. So again, if you guys haven't been on a cruise, you know, they have different things where sometimes you sit with the same people every night, the same times, you know, flexibility. I do anytime, anywhere. And then that way you just type in, I'm on my way down. And then they pretty much seat you wherever you want. All right. Where can guests enjoy the company of others in a pub style atmosphere while obtaining al alcoholic beverages? At the comp Compass Lounge? Thanks. The Tavern. The Tavern. Thank you. Pub style atmosphere is the Tavern. Okay, guys, we're almost done. Boy, I would have been a horse by now if I'd been reading all this. <laughs> That's why I thought, let's get this over with, because she's reading it all, right? We just have to listen. So, all right, come on. And again, if you guys are new to this, you know, sometimes they're 20 minutes, sometimes they're an hour, um, you know, so sometimes they're 10 hours. So we just take our time and, and you know, we never really know until we get into it. So again, um, start thinking of trainings you guys want to do for next month. If you guys are planning to go on vacation, like one time I was going on a cruise, Puerto, Rico, Puerto Vallarta, um, Mazatlan, um, Cabo. So I put in my training for the next month, those places. So I could see 
what not to miss, right? All right, guests can take a Great Lakes cruise that hits all five of the Great Lakes. True. 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 And last but not least, one last question, and then we'll go to expeditions, and I think that will be it. Okay, so, um, was true th three and four? Because I'm on four, going on four. Uh, four is true. And what three? Was, what was three? Is that a true or false? Or what was three? Three is the third option. A the tavern. Tavern, tavern yeah. Okay, then what? <laughs> then I am further than I thought. Okay, so what's before the tavern and false? Number two was um, the first one, assigned time, no table. Oh, first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. See, we all help each other. And last question. Do, 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 do. True or false? The grill is six and seven alternative. Is that it? Like sevens? Alternative dining restaurant that requires reservations for dinner. True? False. False. Why is that? I don't know. I don't remember the answer, but I just know it's false. Okay. <laughs> All right. So they don't need it. All right. So that's false. Let's hit complete. Let's complete that. Get to expeditions. It's only 14 minutes. Get it get her done and then hopefully get our certificate and you guys can be on with your day. Whew. How long does it take to receive your username via email? I only got a transaction receipt. You should have got it right away. Let me take a look and see if I can get you your number. Got a new sign up. Yeah, that's all you need. So that's your username is your agent number. So you just go in and you do your certification with your username and the password. All right, five out of five. I love you guys. Thank you. We've been getting 100% all the way through, acing them all. Congratulations. All right, hopefully this is last but not least. Is there another quiz after this, or is this it, Linda? Do you know? There's one final quiz one when they do quiz. expeditions, and then there's a quiz on expeditions and like final. There's five okay. questions. <laughs> is that all? <laughs> yep. I got the answers. Don't worry about okay. it, girls. You guys are all covered, or everybody, not girls, but everybody. <laughs> Thank you. We can't hear the video, Marnie. You can't hear it? I wonder why. I have my thing on. Hold on. Sorry. That's okay. I don't have it on mute, so I don't know why you guys can't hear it. Let me do it again. 
generation of travelers, Can you hear it now? affluent, well traveled, well educated. Maybe yes, they've done a Coast you. cruise, but now they just want to stay a bit closer to home. So active explorers across the way. We do also accept families, so I'll just reiterate that here, but we do have a minimum age recommended of eight years old to do the expedition activities. So let's talk about what's going to make these cruises oh, so unique with American Queen Voyages. They are truly going to be beyond expectations of our guests because just like Mama Bear here leading her cubs in the wilderness, we know those cubs learn by doing. And that is exactly what our guests are going to experience as well. They're going to have a leader taking them through these expeditions. And it is a very educational experience across the entire uh, vacation that they have. This is actually led by our team of expedition experts who have more than 70 years of combined experience in applied science and marine science and uh, geological science. We also have U.S. Coast Guard certified boat captains and search and rescue uh, forest rangers. So there is going to be an amazing set of expedition crew members who are here along the way to bring these destinations to life. In addition to that, we have partnered with Cal Poly State University and their marine science experts or will be interning with us for our hands-on science uh, components of what we do throughout this experience and they'll be our naturalists and they might lead some of the hiking and trekking right, but right. we're going to be doing some really cool stuff when we're out in the field and I say it in the field because this is really a learning experience so let's talk about the zodiacs when we are in our expedition days our zodiac experiences are all included we have a dozen zodiac vessels that will hold about a dozen guests and we do have some rain gear and rain boots that we have on hand. If guests didn't want to bring their own, we certainly have them there for them. Uh, but this is going to be when we truly get up close to nature and discover what's taking place in the Alexander Archipelago. So when we're in the Zodiac boats, we might be collecting samples of bioplankton and bringing it back on board and looking at it under the microscope to see what the biodiversity is taking place here in the archipelago. In addition to the zodiacs, we also have kayaks. There's about 20 tandem kayaks, and we will always have a kayak guide going out with our guests, and they will have expedition-based activities that are based truly from the kayaks. So, uh, and don't worry, we always have a zodiac boat that goes along with all of these kayak adventures just in case uh, it's needed but we always put safety first across the board whether it's zodiacs or kayaks now the other thing that we'll have on board is a expedition photographer who will be with us the entire journey documenting what's taking place traveling along with us and at the end of the week we will have a show that's played in the theater where we will have everyone kind of reminisce about everything they did on this voyage and then there will be an opportunity to purchase that item as well now one of the components we also bring to the table and why this is really beyond expectations is because we have partnered with the Sound Science Research Collective and notable people such as Michelle Fournay, who is known around the world for her whale speak. So we can actually utilize hydrophones and put them in the water and listen to the sounds of the whales. So again, a very hands-on learning experience. Okay, what I want to do now is walk you through the itinerary. Uh, this will be a little bit different than the other modules because I actually want you to see how this breaks down from a cruise and expedition experience. So on your screen right now is a map of the Alexander Archipelago. At your first glance, you might have thought, eh. It looks like the inside passage, but it's so much more than that. The archipelago is actually the largest and broadest expanse of islands and inlets and fjords and coves that make up Southeast Alaska's hidden wilderness. And because our expedition ship is so small and unique, we're able to get into places that the big blue water cruise ships cannot get into. So everything that you see listed on your screen is our daily itinerary so to speak on our 11 night southbound cruise we also have a 10 night northbound cruise that runs the exact same destinations the only difference is the southbound house an extra night spent in tracy arm wilderness and these voyages are between vancouver and sitka uh, so airlift wise you're going to be looking at alaska or delta airlines uh, to get in and out of sitka 
uh, but otherwise Vancouver won't be any issue with air. So as you're looking at this screen, look at all of these ports of call and destinations that are listed. On your screen now, some of those have turned purple. Those purple ones are indicative of our scenic sailing days. So there's actually two and a half uh, days. Actually, I think that's, what is that? One, two, three uh, days of scenic sailing. Excuse me for that error a minute ago. Uh, it's been a long day recording all of these things for you. So three days of scenic sailing. Then we have our expedition base days, and there are four of those, and you see those now in blue. So scenic sailing, so we're just enjoying the scenery, and then expedition days, we're getting in the Zodiac boats and doing all those fun activities on the marine base side. And then everything you see in brown is going to be one of our land-based ports of call. So that's boots on the ground. We have included shore excursions on all of those land-based days. Uh, and that is in addition to the marine activities we have on expedition days. So that's the itinerary. So let me show you the vessel now because this is truly unique, folks. This is Ocean Victory, and she is a brand new complete engineering marvel. She is 100% built for expedition cruising. She'll hold just about 176 guests on board. Uh, she has just 88 staterooms. And out of those staterooms, there's 82% of them that have private balconies. So again, a really easy sell for you. Just depends on where they want to be on the ship itself. Now, what makes this vessel so unique, aside from the fact that it's a Polar Class 5 vessel, which we certainly don't need Polar Class 5, but she is, so we'll take that here in Alaska, but she has an X-bow hull. And the way this hull is designed is that as it enters the water, it distributes the force of those waves evenly amongst the keel, making for a very smooth entry into the water. So she's very gentle. There's no pitching and rolling and vibration. So again, a very smooth ride across the board. She's also totally environmentally friendly. She has low emission fuel, so her smokestacks will hardly have anything coming out of them because she is so clean burning. She also has a zero emission day capability. So as we transit the waters and we see a pod of whales, we can go to zero emission and respectfully transit those waters. She also has a very light touch, and this is how we're able to spend the night in Tracy Arm Wilderness. We use our anchorless stabilizers that come out from the bottom of the ship and they work in tandem with the GPS in the sky to hold our position and we do that without having to drop an anchor onto the seabed floor and destroy it. So again, very environmentally friendly and energy efficient with her two electric engines as well. In addition to all of that, she has these amazing observation platforms or viewing platforms that come down from the bow of each side of the ship, allowing us to stand out there as we cruise in calm waters and really get a very different perspective for the destination that we're sailing in. So certainly kind of a bird's eye view over here almost while you're feeling the wind in your hair through those platforms. Okay, let's look at some public spaces. So we have the observation lounge, which has has a 180 degree of view around with floor to ceiling windows. So if guests just wanted to enjoy the scenery from here, they certainly can. We also have the dining room, which is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then there will be an overflow kind of specialty restaurant area that we can utilize for group events. And then in addition to that, we have a bistro, which is our more casual dining atmosphere. There's also kind of a barbecue deck area outside, so if people wanted to dine al fresco in the summer, they can certainly do that. And then we have a pool. This is actually an infinity edge pool with two spas on each side. So guests will want to bring their bathing suits, not just because of the pool, but because we will have polar plunges if conditions are just right and the captain gives us the thumbs up sign for it. Now, in addition to that, we have our pool bar because no pool deck would be complete without the bar and we know all of those beverages are included so we might as well have them there for them and then inside it becomes kind of a very relaxing environment uh, we have a lounge that guests can hang out in there's also a piano bar here but I want to kind of time out here for a second and say the piano bar is the extent of the entertainment on board and that is because 
I like to say we have edutainment. It's education meets entertainment wrapped into one because that's what these expeditions are about. It's the educational aspect. So it's not nightly Broadway shows. There's a piano bar here as needed, uh, but for the most part, they've got the lounge to hang out in. There's a bar here in the lounge as well. So they want to kind of come in after our expedition days. They can certainly do that. Plenty of seating space and wonderful views as we sail by. Now the theater or the lecture room really is a tier theater seating system so when we're doing our presentations and talking about biodiversity and climate change there is a clear view to the front of the screen where our presentations are taking place at and we do have a library so if guests wanted to utilize uh, their public computers here versus their smart devices they can certainly do that as well Here's a look at the reception area just beyond that's lounge. And then we do have a fitness center, state-of-the-art equipment in here, but you'd find me in the Polar Spa. So again, you have full service spa here, hair, nails, massage, and facials. So that can be arranged once they are on board. Lastly, I'll mention the expedition transition room. This is where every stateroom is assigned a locker for their week, and they can store all of their rain gear and rain boots here here in the transition room. The key to this photo is that staircase on the left hand side of your screen. That is why we need to make sure guests are mobile. They have to be able to get up and down stairs to get into this transition room. And this is also where we tender from. So again, we want to make sure you're selling this appropriately to your active explorer clients. Okay, let's look at the stateroom. So the uh, premium suite that we have has a separate bedroom area from the living area, large balcony out here as well, uh, just about 400 square feet across the board. And then we have a category A deluxe suite, which is sectioned off with kind of a partition between the living area and the, the bedroom area. Both of those, the premium suite and the category A deluxe suite come with our Commodore services, but we do not offer Butler services on these voyages. We also have our category B or the double B which has beautiful views right from the bed. That'd be nice to be able to lay there and see those uh, glaciers going by. And then we also have our category C which is our deluxe stateroom. This is the majority of the ship. It looks exactly like this right here. We also have a category E stateroom, again, with a private veranda, but I absolutely love these category Fs, the French veranda ba uh, balcony. So there's no step out area, but what happens is, is that entire top of the window slides down into the bottom, really creating this open air space. So it's a really cool alternative if they can't afford a private veranda on their own. And then lastly, we have our view stateroom. So these are the closest ones to that expedition transition room. It could be portholes, it could be large picture windows, just depends on its location. All right, folks, that wraps up your overview of our expedition cruises. I thank you for listening, and I can't wait to see you on my certified agent list. So good luck with the quiz, and we will see you on board one day. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Last test, and then we do our final. All right, let's do it. All right, expeditions. You guys all here? 22 of you. Thank, thank goodness for you guys. You all stayed on board. Let's get this going. I want to see your certificates and let's start booking, right? Maybe we'll do a fam trip together. Let me know if you guys get invited because I'm going to say, wait, wait, what about me? What about me? <laughs> so again, you know, make sure you're part of our incentive voucher group, because again, that's for everybody. Um, you know, you guys have your separate teams and everything. Look at Linda. Wow. Look at her. She put all, she's ready to get out of here. <laughs> all right. What type of traveler is best suited for ocean victory? Senior mature. Okay. Couples ages, senior mature, couples 55 or older. So ocean victory, mark all that apply. It should be all of them, but the first one. I'm just getting right. my quiz back up again. Couples age, 55, senior, mature. So not just sitting around watching the scenery. Right. The expeditions are for those active people. All right. Da, 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 da. 
Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. So Linda, that was my daughter that called. I told her I want her to get the Paul stuff out of the freezer in the garage and cleaned out. So I told her to get it done because tomorrow's garbage day and I don't want it sitting out for a week before next garbage day. So if you can maybe remind her tomorrow if she doesn't. <laughs> we, we've got most of it. it there's okay. He's only got a few condiment things left on the shelf. And unless okay. there's stuff out in the garage out there, you know what I mean? Thank you. And then yeah. any any canned goods, I'm going to take them over and donate them to one of like the shelters or something. So. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah Cause I'm like, I'm like, Haley, just get it all cleaned out. You know, I said, oh. that's all you have to do. You know, <laughs> ah! my 21 it's, year old. <laughs> she's got too many other things going on in her life. So oh. I've been taking care of it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I, I hear we have, I hear we have a new kitty. I haven't told Rick yet. Um, have you <laughs> salmon? That's what she called him. Uh, salmon. Or, salmon or her. That's um, her. She's okay. she's really cute. She's she reminds me almost of Precious, but she's got a different face. Yeah, and bigger. One of my well, kitties, my name, my our roommate actually let her out. Now my daughter brought in a new one. So Linda's again helping. But but she's is she small like her? Yeah, she's small like her. She's good. a little petite thing. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, team of experts from which locations are part of the Ocean Victory specially trained expedition and lecture team mark all the apply <laughs> it's the sitka sound cal poly state and alaska whale foundation all right you guys got that sitka cali and alaska whale everybody good that's number two okay sitka Cali, Alaska whale. All right, let's do it. Do it, do it. I love the yeah. pictures of Eli though, out and about. Has he been more like, adventurous? Oh yeah, he, he comes in and hangs out all the time and he, he now is liking to come in and out the back door like everybody else, so. Oh, good, okay. <laughs> I just, so I just two remember, two them. huh? Not number all of them. Was, no, not all of them. It's the Sitka, Cali, and Alaska. Okay, the second, third, and last one. It's still up. So Sitka, Cali Poly, Cal Poly, and Alaska Whale. One of my good friends that I worked with when I did insurance, I did insurance for work comp for 30 years. Um, she actually just got assigned um, Alaska Territory, and and she went. Have you guys ever seen the proposal and Sitka? She got to actually yep. go and visit that. And if you haven't seen the proposal with uh, Sandra Bullock, make sure you do. It's an amazing movie. It's cool, and yeah. that's the last one that Betty White made of the movies. Aww. Okay. Yeah. All right, daily excursions. I'll bite. I'll bite on land or marine base zodiac boats are included in the cruise fare. True, right? Yep. They are included. There's there's ones that are, you know, purchasable or whatever. Or, um, those are, what are they called? Premier. Premier excursions yep. that they do have to pay extra for, but the daily ones are included. That's what's so cool about this. When you go to post guys and promote free Wi-Fi, free, you know alcohol okay <laughs> um <laughs> excursions all right everything included guys okay so definitely a great selling point um make sure you post that and again post you know the the screenshots about singles you know if you want to focus on a singles group or or you know baby boomer group or whatever um you know take those pictures of those flyers and stuff like i just took another picture of that other thing um, I don't know if you follow me on Facebook, but why we've been doing this, I posted a couple of those pictures. Just again, post, 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 grab a drink, make a friend. We'll see you around the boat. Okay. And then I think I did that on earlier one too. So <laughs> um, yeah, what was the last one? Oh, the last one was life is either a, a daring adventure or nothing. Helen Keller, right? 
Yeah. More than 80% of the staterooms on Ocean Victory have private balconies. True? That's true. Yeah. Because they want to be able to, I mean, they're more, you know, it's it's not like the carnival, the crazy, you know, fun ship. This is more relaxed, being able to enjoy, you know, the 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 scenery, the atmosphere, et cetera. Okay. So the best thing about these guys too is is with these smaller ships they cruise right into port right they pull right up to the dock and you can get on and off and just about all of them yeah you know versus the cruise ships where you gotta you know tender in yeah yeah so, three true uh i think uh three yes three is true and four is true yes all right so this four hours did you guys learn anything <laughs> ocean victory is an engineering marvel with a whole design to distribute the energy of the waves evenly making for a very smooth ride what is the name of the hole it's an expo expo yep okay expo guys let's do it do it do it all right now we have our final exam this is the final oh this is the final we're done we're done don't tell me we're done we're done we're done we're done as soon done, as you get done. their screen to say complete you're done <laughs> <laughs> can you get your certificate yeah yep Make sure what to was sign number up five? for the fam. Number five is, is um, X Expo. 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 Yep. Bo, bo, bo. B O W. Woo -woo, let's do yep. it. Make sure to sign up for the FAMS and then let them know that you want to be interested in the site inspections when they open up. I already let them know and I got an email back letting me know that they're closed right now, but once they open, they'll let me know. Yay. All right. So let's make sure everybody passes. Congratulations. Only four hours, guys. <laughs> but we did it. Yes. So um, retake, finish the course. And we got it 100%. Let's hit finish the course. I want to see your certificates. Go have a cocktail. Go have a lemonade, a coffee. Go have a hot tub, whatever. You guys deserve it. Yay. All right. So again, uh, Doris is asking, so Linda, what do we need to do? Glass of wine. Yes. Sign up for the fam trips and then the site tours. Okay. So Long Island we should, for me. Yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> should get that link here, correct? When we get there? Yeah. Okay. I'll show you guys real quick. Um, and as I said, this is recorded. Yeah, Sean and I, well, I can do that. Take a nap. <laughs> I, I'm for that. Oh. Hey, Marnie. Uh-huh. Did you know that there's uh, two types of Long Island drinks? No, which ones? Uh, so it's a Long Island iced tea and it's a Long Beach iced tea. Oh, I've never heard of the Long Beach. What's included so, in that? Well, the is Long Island, you know, is a splash of soda. Okay. And the Long Beach is a splash of cranberry juice. Oh, cool. Okay. I haven't heard of that. See, 57 years old, learning something new every day. <laughs> Look at Nicole. She's like, I know. I know that. <laughs> we know who our cocktail drinkers are. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here you got your certificate. Whoop, whoop. Now, remember at the very beginning, they said there may be glitches or whatever. So don't stress out. Okay. Don't stress out. Um, if your certificate doesn't pop up, it will, it will. Okay. So ding, ding, ding. Whoop, there I am again. My sign in was Mickey fan. I need to probably change it to Marnie. So it has my name. All you need to do is go back to your profile, fix it. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Daniela. All right. So, uh, congratulations, post your certificate. Now let's go back here. And then where do we go? Linda, Linda. It's, I think it's on the home page in the AQ Voyages because right, we're so in the travel agent training certification one. All right, so let's go back here and here. Um, 
Let's see. So again, I don't want to leave anybody out. want to make sure everybody's good under special offers. Do we go to under travel agent side or? We'll find it, guys. Hold on. Right on, I think under the special offers. Okay. Click on that. Early bookings, advanced payment. Where did I see that? Hang on. All inclusive. It should be under like travel agent, travel guide. Mm -hmm. Where we'll find it, guys. Let me go back over here just to see if it's under here. I am an agent. Yeah, you can change the username to your name. I would just go under profile. Okay, guys. Um, okay, so I'm in the travel agent program. Let me go over here. Oops, sorry. Okay, your profile. So you should be able to go to your profile, certificates, order settings, quiz results, wish list. On the agent profile or the agent main portal, when you log okay. in on the agents.aq. Okay. Underneath education and training, they've got site inspections when you hit that tab. So it's below your training and certification. It lists site inspections and then agent rates and fam trips. Right here. See this, guys? So I'll put the link here in the group chat. Okay, there you go. Go right here, education training agent rates and fam trips okay hosted fam trips here travel agent rates 175 dollars per night um to apply complete the online application below are not accepted more than 45 days prior are you a certified agent yes upload your certificate okay so you're going to put your certificate there Submission date today, agency name. Again, always Archer Travel, okay? Always Archer Travel. And then your information. Uh, select a date within 45 days, okay? So they don't have any days available right now, did you say, or did they? Please indicate top three voyages. I think you have to go in and start looking at what, uh, what time they have they available. Have? Okay. Yeah. All right, but that's how you do it, guys. Definitely stay in, and, and then site inspections. Again, watch for that when it opens up. Make sure you get out there and take advantage of going on these ships while they're in port. Um, again, they'll take you around. You're, you're on the ship taking pictures of the, you know, the suites, the restaurants, you know, all the activity and stuff so you can share it, okay? All right, so again, congratulations, everybody. It was a long one, I know, but you guys survived it. You've got your certificate. I wanna see it posted. Again, congratulations. Um, what are we doing next Tuesday, Wednesday? Um, next Wednesday, we're doing Contiki, Contiki out of Trafalgar. So that's a really good one. Um, we're doing that on both Wednesday and Friday, and then on Saturday, RIU, another uh, hotel program that we're doing, Panama City on the 16th, um, Uplift, we're doing Intrepid Travel, Bosnia, Croatia, uh, Washington, D.C., Singapore, and that's what we have so far um, for this month. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy Artist thing was getting the certificate to post. All right. The IATA number, the IATA card. Okay. Remember the IATA number 0582480, our driver's license for booking travel. You earn your own card when you um, book 5,000 in commission. Okay. You can earn your own card. But right now, as long as you're certified with Archer Travel, um, you've got access to that number. Okay. Hold on. Um, so a lot of people don't have the bookings under them now. So that's why I said get the CLIA card because you need one or the other on a lot of our promotional material um, for Disney, for Marriott. So when we talked earlier about CLIA, um, right here, travel agent, join and renew. It's under cruising.org. 
Um, right now, the membership is closed, but you definitely, if you want to take advantage of those perks and stuff, you definitely want to get in and um, and get your um, CLIA card. Now, I'll show you what it looks like really quick, just so you know. Um, so a lot of us do this because we don't do a lot of bookings, so we don't have the IATA card. Um, they're kind of both the same as far as discounts. I can't type in the pocket tape. Um, but uh, of course the IATA gives you discounts on airfare and stuff too. Lots of great packages. The CLIA is the cruise line card. Okay. Um, but let me show you really quick and then, uh, and then we'll move on. Um, but they're going to open it back up. It is, uh, $69. We get $50 off guys. It's regularly 120, 119, um, um a year to get this card. Uh, again, it's not mandatory, but if you want to get those free Disney passes, you want to get those Marriott discounts at over a hundred dollars off per night, definitely do it. So that's me. That's mine. Um, again, you can download your actual, um, online card. It looks like this. It has your picture, your information showing you are an agent with Archer Travel. Okay. And then you just show that for discounts on upgrades for cars, for hotels, et cetera. Okay. So again, it's per year. So right now I have to do my renewal for next year, but as you see over here, it's closed. When you go to do it and you go to join or renew, it's going to tell you right now it is closed. Um, again, IATAN card or the, so are you talking about over here on the training thing? Um, yeah, so you'd either put the IATA number of 0582480 or your CLIA card, okay? Byron, so again, I don't know where it's saying that at because I'm not there. Um, if it's under that training and education thing here. Um, do, 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 yes. It's upload, on the. Yeah, right here. Upload IOT or CLIA. So, again, yeah. a lot of times you will be, that's why I'm saying, just like with Disney, you have to have one or the other. So, that's why I recommend definitely getting one um, because of this reason. So, you may not be able to go on the FAM trip unless you have one or the other. Okay. But we. We can't register on the travel agent portal for American Queen until we have an image of an uh, one or the Aida other or a yeah or one of the cards. Yeah, yeah, probably. So again, um, that's the travel agent rates or whatever. So um, it says one hundred seventy five. So again, some of them have requirements. Just like if you go over here to Disney. You can do the training on Disney. You can complete the training and everything, but you won't be able to use the perks because again, I think they just want to make sure because like with us, Arch or Evolution has like 10,000 agents, but a lot of them maybe just use it for the perks or for the team building or whatever. So they just want to make sure that you are a legit travel agent, okay? So right here, um, training and discounts or whatever, available benefits. Like right now, I'm eligible for Disney World tickets. If I go in to request it, same thing. You need to give either the IATA card or the CLIA card. So that's why I say to you guys, I highly recommend ordering your CLIA card. So it should be opening up. Um, I think it should say here that it's opening up probably in um, November. Okay. Okay. Um, and once it does, we will announce it right here to join. We'll be back open in November for next year. So once you get that, then again, you pull your card. This is your number now. You get assigned a number and then I can go. So not like right now, I can do it because I've got my CLIA card. So I can go over here and, and put that in down here. So I'd upload my card and, and do it. So again, keep that in mind. You've already done the registration. So this month, if you can afford that 69, I recommend doing it because again, it is a tax write-off. 
You don't have to do it in November. You can do it in January. You can do it in March. I've got people that are joining just and getting their CLIA card just for the free Disney passes. I mean, look here for Disney, you get a one to 10 day hopper pass for Disney World um, at half price, guys. So, or a free ticket. So that $69 pays off for this, even this one perk that you use. Okay. Does that make sense? So I kind of just want to share that. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Um, I'm not finding where I can change my username at the... Uh... On the account? Yeah, yeah, at the American Queen uh, Travel Okay, Agent so Board. so you should be able to go to my account because I right. need to do mine, to, mine too. Um, let me log out of Rick because that was Rick. So I'm going to log into me. My username was under Mickey Fan. Okay, so here I am. All right, so my account. Do, 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 edit account. Okay, so I'm going to hit update account. Let's see. Notifications. You will see the options to disable notification. I don't want to do that. All right. Again, marketing collateral. You guys can get all the marketing material here. Okay. Edit account, notifications, delete account, bio. I don't see it either. So what I would probably do is probably send a message maybe to them unless somebody else knows otherwise. Um, usually it'll it it usually would allow you to do that. I went to settings. Okay, let's look at settings. Additional resources. Okay, where's settings at? <laughs> where's settings at, Nicole? Added my first one so and save changes. So where's the settings? Let's look up here. Contact us maybe. Down here. Where you log in for the courses. All right. So where we log in for the courses. We'll get there, guys. Training and certificate. Okay, here. Click to launch. Here, maybe. You're welcome. Congratulations, guys. All right, so here. It doesn't look like it's here. It doesn't look like it's here. Shows courses, cert, order, quiz, and wish. Okay, should I, should I share my screen with you or should you want to share your screen so you can show us? Okay. Let me give you, uh, I'll stop sharing on my screen if you want to share your screen and then we can all see so we can go in and update. Oh, I see here. Okay. Wish list. You're welcome. Yeah, it was a, it was a long one, guys. So again, congratulations. And again, you know, we do this all the time. We all try to help each other. So again, guys, you guys need anything? Let's help each other. All right, here we go. So Nicole's going to share her screen, showing us where to get it updated, okay? All right, so log in with your sites. We're going to account.
Maybe because I have all my accounts open. We close out a lot of them. All right, so the main count, okay. Name, last name, nickname, okay. So what I did was I logged completely out and I'm logging back in and then I'm getting to where she's at, where it says account. And then pull up profile. Okay, perfect. And then go to settings. So log completely out, go back in and then go to profile. And then your nickname, go ahead and change it to like your name. And then that way it'll show up on your certificate. Perfect. So nickname can be, you know, that, but display name publicly, you want your name. Okay. Thank you, Nicole. Right. So, so again, let me show you guys really quick. If you guys can see. So what you're going to do is completely log out of your account. Like, okay, you're going to log out. So I'm going to log out, okay? And then from here, you're going to log in. Log in, okay, with your login, how you had it. And then here is where she was showing you that now this is your account. You go to profile. And see where it says settings here now? You're going to click there. And then it has down here your nickname. Put your name. And then displayed as. And you want it to display the same. Hopefully, you know, I don't want it to display it as that. Let me see if it'll fix it when I hit save changes. Okay, there we go. Now I click my name, save changes. And now, hopefully I go back to my certificate and it should have my name. There it is. Thank you, Nicole. See that? So it did say Mickey Fan 18. Now it shows my name. Say my name, say my name. All right, guys. All right. Add your picture. You're going to get all kinds of perks. Order your Akimbo card. Let's stay, you know, plugged in. Have an amazing weekend, everybody. Um, does anybody have any questions, need anything else? Again, I appreciate all you guys. Thank you, Linda, for all the answers because she had um, taken this already and she stayed on board with us over four hours to help us with the answers, guys. So again, you know, give a hands up to Linda for getting us through this. We appreciate you. Um, again, as we say, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself, guys. We are all here together. I'm an agent just like you guys, but look what, you know, yeah, thank you. So much fun, right? And a long one, but, but now look at what you accomplished. And, and again, you know, sign up for those discounts. Maybe we can do a group trip or a fam trip, you know, next year or something. Um, definitely. I need to start traveling more. Okay. I need to get this business going here in Nebraska so I can, because he's been having me on lockdown and I was traveling last October. I went on three cruises, Disney World, Universe Studios. Um, what was it? Uh, uh, Key West, never been there. We were in, in uh, Orlando and Miami for three and a half weeks. Amazing. Okay. Now I've been three and a half months in Nebraska. Hasn't been the fun, exciting adventure that I wanted. <laughs> I definitely need to get back to cruising, okay? Um, but uh, 
but again, I have to do what I need to do to, to get my future, you know, set. So we, we didn't have any retirement. So we invested in a medical clinic here and, uh, but anyway, um, still love my travel. Always will do my travel. And as I said, I'll be going to Seattle, Leavenworth, and then a 15 day cruise, and then we'll be back here in Nebraska. So, um, again, guys, you can do this from anywhere, anytime. Let's have some fun again. Congratulations. And you guys have an amazing, amazing weekend and we will see you on Wednesday. Okay. Bye guys. Take care.